You remember when we remember when we 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 tried to do that way long time ago, and then I freaking I don't know what happened. Something happened, and I ended up not doing it. Remember that? There are some of you that were here for that. I stopped halfway. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Okay, let me go through all the all the skins mods. Is there a good website or a good place to be able to rate the characters and or skins? Where I can easily do that, that'd be great. Give me a link, por favor. Just use the wiki or the website itself. Oh, the wiki? Okay, cool. The the wiki's good? All right, not not bad. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Instead, why not check out chat recommendations? Chat recommendations? Like what? Like check out which character I should check out next? Okay. I could do that. Should we we should we lead off with that? For characters and skins. All right, all right, all right. Just check the website. Feet tier list. That's a real nice green name you got there, buddy. Fuck you. Anyways. Okay, so how about Mr. we Strummer, do... I'm going to speak. I mean, technically Riot will create the Arcane series based on players buying League skins. Is that true? That makes sense. That's pretty smart. Are you going to be playing Grand Blue? Uh, uh, I'm going to be trying. Oh, Rizzy's going to be playing Grand Blue? Let's go, buddy. Let's go, baby. Grand Blue. Oh, my God. The amount of characters in this game is insane. How many times do I got to scroll through this shit? How many characters are here? 160? You're kidding, dude. What's the most recent character? Do you guys know? If I go down to the bottom, is that the most recent character? Is it Zyra? Nafiri? All right, all right, all right. So let's do this. Let's lead off. Here's the website. All right. Here's the website. So how do we do this? Do you guys want to for me to just go through the characters naturally? Or do you want to tell me a character? I look for them and I give you my thoughts. Hmm. Off rip, check a Kali. Start from characters that are in game and then chat recommendations. Recommends. All right, let's do well. Let's do the opposite, actually. Let's 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 do chat recommendations, and then if it starts to get more sporadic, because once you guys choose one, and then chat goes nuts, and they choose one character, and you guys start spamming that one character, that means that there's interest in me seeing that character. However, if there starts to be multiple characters just randomly, then that's where I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go through the thing naturally. But people are saying Akali. Okay. Uh, where? Oh, she's right here. Oh, it's alphabetical. Let's go. Akali. Hello there. She's a rogue assassin. Okay. Stinger Akali. Hello there. Inferal or Infernal. All star. Nurse. Hmm. Blood Moon. She looks kind of okay. So she's like a ninja. Silver Fang. These are the skins, right? Am I I think I'm right about that. Sashimi? Oh, like a like a chef? KDA Akali. Prestige. True damage. Wow, there is a shit ton of skins. She's the rapper of KDA. What's a KDA? I will go ahead and rate it from a scale of one to five. Akali is a solid five. I would love to have Akali and Project L. Please, dear God, give me Akali and Project L. That would be sick. It's it's a group. Oh, it's one of the the the, the K-pop groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys told me about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We listened to some of the songs on recommendation nights. All right. Is there anybody else you want me to see? Who else you guys want me to see? We saw Akali. Who's next? Zed, Riven, Thresh. Riven, Riven, Thresh. 
Riven and Thresh seems like okay. Riven seems to be a popular one, so let's do Riven. Where's the R's? I'm trying really hard to see out of my peripheral, so I don't see the actual characters themselves. Or okay, Ramos. I'm just trying to pay attention to the names instead of the character. Okay, this is Riven. Riven. Okay, big sword waifu. You guys know I love my waifus. I'm a waifu enthusiast for sure. This is her abilities. Not that I care about that, but this is her big old freaking sword big old freaking shield as a gauntlet it seems like mm. battle battle bunny okay not bad not bad so she's basically a big sword waifu i like that put on some music oh that's a nice skin the sword levels up. It installs. The big sword is actually an install. Wait, so the sword becomes bigger? Because that's already a pretty big sword, bro. Where'd you cop that beanie? You can cop this beanie at gamersubs.gg slash Coco, where you can get 10% off of anything in the website. 10%, including this beanie or any cups. We got VTuber cups, we got flavors, we got merch, all sorts of things. And if you use that code, and if you use that link, that one right there, you support the channel and you support me doing this. Thank you so much. Back to the waifu. Anyways, uh, I really like, what's, which one is it? This one. She looks sick. I know, I did a good one, right? High five. Shh, there you go. It was pretty good, huh? Good segue. I owe it to that. Who, who, who's the one that did it? I think it was a freaking purple name. What a purple name? Hold on. I need to give... Yeah, it's a purple name. Anyways. <laughs> it's fine. Anyways. uh, Five out of five. She's pretty. She's 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 pretty. I like her. I like her. I want her in Project L. Who else am I looking looking at, chat? All right, Thresh is the other one that people were telling me to watch or to see. What if they're all gonna be? There's a character called Twitch. That's funny. Okay, Thresh. Whoa, the Chain Warden, sadistic, cunning. Thresh is an ambitious and restless spirit of the Shadow Isles. That's how he kind of looks Strummer, like I'm there. Going to speak. You should look at skills for character gameplay ideas. Well, there's a lot of characters. If I start getting caught up in the skills, I'm going to be at this for days. So I'm just looking purely at aesthetics. And I'll worry about the skills if the characters are in the game. So anyways, what do we have here? Wait, so this is Thresh. He looks like Dormammu, and it looks freaking awesome. Was he like a Kraken? Like Davy Jones? I don't like anything deep. I don't like deep terror. Nothing from the deep. I don't like that. Blood Moon Thresh. SSW Thresh? I don't know what that is. As for the new characters in Project L, Go Misfortune, Jinx, and more than 100% gonna make it in. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look at all that. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. High Noon. Pull oh, this one looks badass, actually. Oh, is this a more human version? Oh, it's like a Necromancer version. Looks like a Diablo character. That's kind of cool. I give Thresh... I give him a three out of five. I think chains and chain weapons would be pretty cool in fighting games. I give him a three out of five. Who else? Fiora? Or Misfortune? Well, there's Vi or V, whatever her name is. She's in Arcane, right? We watched Arcane together. Okay, let's do Vi. Oh, there she is. This is how she looks like here, right? Okay, she has, she has the gauntlets. Yeah, we, we've seen Arcane already, so... Wow. 
Officer Vi? Okay, yeah. Yep, I kind of already know about Vi, and I know how she looks, and I know how she could kind of play. That Arcane, this is the one I know. Uh, if they were to put in Vi, which I, I, I guarantee they're going to be putting her in, it's going to be Arcane Vi to be able to promote the, the show. So I think uh, she's inevitably going to be making it in. Same thing with Jinx. So... Four out of five. Four out of five, I think, is pretty great. Season two Vi, maybe? True. Yes, that is true. But season two Vi could just be season one Vi. Who knows? Anyways. All right, I give her a four out of five. Not bad. Who else? Miss For okay, Miss Fortune was the other one you guys wanted to see, so let's go Miss Fortune. All right, Miss Fortune... Uh, that's N. Let's go with... Oh, uh, here we go. Whoa! Pirate? The booty hunter? Hunting for booty? Misfortune. Okay. Oh, hello there. Jessica Rabbit... Miss Fortune. Jessica Fortune. The hell? You'll definitely be catching me uh, ordering the skin, if you know what I mean. Candy cane, that's uh, Christmas. It's like a Mad Max type of thing. Road Warrior. Oh, this is cool, too, actually. I love this. This reminds me of, uh, you know, other character I really like? That's uh, kind of like mafia e is the school new schoolgirls character. What's her name? Uh, Miss Dahlia, I think her name was. Dude, she looks sick. And I love like the mafia mob type waifus. They're really oh Black Dahlia, my bad. Yeah, Black Dahlia, not Miss Dahlia. My bad. Anyways, arcade. <laughs> wow. All right, Captain. I I dude. No matter what. I want the pirate version. The pirate version is my favorite. Pool party. Nice. Star Guardian. Oh, this one looks cool, too. More futuristic and shit. Pajama. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Prestige Witch. Oh, she looks badass. I love the, the glowing eyes. Battle Bunny. Yeah, I think for sure my favorite one is either the mob, the pirate one, or Jessica Fortune. Love that shit, dude. Look at Yasuo and Lee Sin. One of the one of space has four different colors. Yeah, I can tell. A lot of them. Lee Sin is the next one. Leona. Lee Sin or Leona. Oh, by the way, Miss Fortune, I give her a five out of five. Absolute beauty. Nico, Lee Sin to your heart. Lee Sin is my main. Jack, Samira, you're going to love Lee Sin. Okay, we'll do Lee Sin, and then after that, maybe I'll go ahead and uh, do it naturally. Because we're getting to that point where people are kind of just going all over the place. Okay, Lee Sin. The Blind Monk. Okay, so a fighter. Cool. So traditional Lee Sin. Okay. Acolyte Lee Sin. Dragon Fist Lee Sin. So martial artist. Muay Thai. Deaf martial artist look. Looks like... Uh, what the fuck's his name? Um, fucking Andrew Tate. I see uh, there's a couple of Andrew Tate memes or, or mains in the chat. That's cool. Good for you guys. <clears throat> Not bad. Oh, this one's great. Do Storm Dragon? Do not compare him to my boy. Okay, which one do you want? Do you want do you want Andrew Tate or do you want Pitbull? One of those, you're going to have one of those two. There's no way in hell I'm not saying and one of those two. 
It's either Pitbull or Andrew Tate. Just pick pick your poison. Pitbull? All right. I'll, Pitbull main. Sounds good. Uh, you know, Lee Sin looks pretty cool. On a scale of one to five, though, I'd probably give him a two. Looks pretty generic. Looks pretty generic. It, I mean, that's how it is, dude. Uh, what else? What do we have? Uh, Shivana, Samira, Warwick. Okay, let's go ahead and go naturally. Let's go naturally. Let's just go through it and see what we can find, huh? We're getting a little bit more sporadic results, so we'll go ahead and go one by one. All right. Actually, here's... Should we do by categories or by all of them? I don't know. All right. Let's just go with this. Aatrox, the Darkened Blade. He looks like a demon guy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that looks really cool, actually. Oh, he's a robot mecha Aatrox. He looks like a Diablo character. He looks like Diablo. Period. Oh, this one looks badass. Victorious. Prestige Blood. Lunar Eclipse. DRX. Oh, is that him back there? Wow. I think my favorite has to be, like, this one. I like this one. Aatrox. Aatrox, uh, he seems pretty interesting. I'll give him a three out of five. Three out of five for Aatrox. Now we got Ari. Um, Dynasty. I want to see her costumes. Midnight, Foxfire, Challenger, Academy, Arcade, Star Guardian, KDA, Elderwood, Spirit Blossom, KDA, Coven Irie, Prestige, Arcana, Show Moon. Okay. Yeah, Ari, uh, Ari, I think I'm going to go ahead and give her a four out of five. She's great, but she's not my favorite. I'd rather have a Kali personally. And I, sh I gave her a five out of five. Akshan. What do we got with Akshan? What does he do? Raising an eyebrow in the face of danger. Uh, Akshan fights evil with a dashing charisma. Skilled in the art of stealth combat. Okay, cool. Stealth combat. I like a crossbow. Only three outfits. Cyber pop. Crystal rose. He kind of reminds me of Rashid, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give him a three out of five as well. He's new. Oh, okay, cool. I'll give him a three out of five. Alistar. Ooh, he's like a bull. Oh, he's mighty warrior and fearsome reputation. Seeks revenge for the death of his clan. He's a tank, so he's like heavy. Black Alistar. So yeah, he's just like a beast. Okay, sweet. Wow, okay, this one's kind of cool, dude. Longhorn. <laughs> Yo, this one's kind of badass. I actually like that one. Infernal. He looks like a Doom antagonist. The Infernal skin, at least. Uh, you got a whole bunch of other ones. Moo Cow? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Conquer. Lunar Beast. Okay. I see. Well, Alistar, I like the bull aesthetic. It's like a Minotaur. Um, I actually like this character, but I don't know if I would like him in the game. I'd probably... i give him a 2 out of 5. This is just on my personal taste. So, 2 out of 5 for me. Amumu? What the hell, dude? Amumu? Also a tank. Apparently. Pharaoh Mumu? He's so cute! Emumu? <laughs> Imumu. Oh, well, he's uh, he's sad now. What the hell? Why is he crying all the time, bro? Bro, stop crying. Christ almighty, can you stop? He's so sad all the time. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Why is he always sad? Always got tears and shit. He's a sad mummy. One out of five. Keep being sad. I don't want sad things that make me sad. The Cryo Phoenix Anivia. Anivia. So it's a literal bird. 
Team Spirit Anivia. We can play as a bird. Sad fact, Amumu wants his friends and wants hugs. Well, if he stopped crying, he'd probably get some. If he kept crying while hugging, he'd probably get them all wet. No wonder people don't want to be his friend. Papercraft Anivia. Well, this is kind of cute. The papercraft. Oh, this is cool. Divine Phoenix. And victorious Anivia. Kind of crystallized. Going to speak. That's cool. So how do you like Bet Shop and Jojo Fighters? Yeah, that's that was my second thought when I was uh, trying to picture this character as a fighting game character. It's like Pet Shop. Uh, I love birds. I don't like them in my fighting games, though, including Pet Shop. One out of five. I don't think so, amigo. Annie. Is that a child? Annie is a child. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good to me. That answered my question. Uh, goth. Red Riding. Of course, they have to do the Red Riding Hood. Uh, Annie in Wonderland. Oh, like an Alice in Wonderland. Queen Annie with the Hell Pageant. Okay, Frostfire. Oh, that's kind of cute with the little boots and shit. Um, reverse Annie. Seems like she has a companion. Like a Franken bear. Panda Annie, Sweetheart Annie, Hextech Annie, Super Galaxy, Anniversary. Okay, that's cute. All right, that's a that's cute little play on words for uh, six out of ten. Uh, and then we have Fright Night Annie. Uh, I don't like children. One out of five. Let me see here. Hey, Alara, what's up, Chica? What Pet Shop is very fair and balanced. Chica, you've never played JoJo's, have you? You just seen it. You've just seen to that shit, huh? Of course, it's easy for you to say, yes, Pet Shop is very fair and balanced because you've never played the shit. Or maybe you have, I don't know. And you just want to see the world burn. Maybe that's it. Either way, it's fine. Have someone wreck me with them? Okay, so you just want to see the world burn. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Anyways, um, the next character. We have Aphelios. Oh, he looks kind of cool. Emerging from Moonlight's shadow with weapons drawn, Aphelios kills the enemies of his faith in brooding silence. Okay. A marksman. He's a zoner. I imagine marksmen are just zoners. Lunar Beast. Okay. EDG. Is he in a, in a, in a band too? Is EDG a band? It's funny how they put League of Legends characters in bands. It's kind of funny to me. It's kind of funny. Five gun stance character. All right. When it comes to uh, gun characters, I do have a soft spot. And uh, I do think that this character can look pretty cool. Um, will I play him, though? No, probably not. Probably because he's not a waifu. So I, I, I don't really have the courage. I just like waifu characters in my fighting games. What I'm a simple person, you know? So I'd probably say a two out of five. Unless the, the, the characters like a grandpa or maybe like a really bad, like JP or like Leroy. Yeah, those characters definitely tickle my fancy. Unless the, the, the male character is super fucking badass. I'll probably I won't play him. Um, anyways, we got Ash. Hello there. Ash, the Frost Archer, Ice Waifu, with also a spear, I'm um, not spear, a uh, bow and arrow character. My two favorite combinations. Pretty great. Ash, Freshy Lord. A oh, boy. This is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. This is what League of Legends is all about, right here. And I love it, and I'm for it. I support it, but not in the way of me playing the game. I support it from afar. I approve of everything. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Uh, five out of five. I absolutely love Ash, and I want to see her in Project L ASAP. Por favor. Wasn't Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising supposed to be out now? No. So the beta 
is on schedules. So you, we only get Rainbow Fantasy versus Rising beta in sessions. It's a very old school beta schedule. So it is today, but it's later on today for about five hours. Then they shut down and then they go into the next day or the next morning, I should say, for another five hours. And then it, uh, the cycle continues. Phew! Yeah, 6 p.m. PST is when, when the first session starts. And then after that, it's like at 4 a.m. PST. Yeah. So anyways, Ash, 5 out of 5. Love this character. I want to see her in Project L ASAP, please. I would main this character in a heartbeat. Next up is Aurelian Soul. Oh, that's like a beast. Oh, he looks kind of cool. Aurelian Soul wants grace with the vast emptiness of the cosmos. So he's just like, he's a mage. Oh, it's like a dragon type of, like an animal. Okay, like, yeah, it's like a floating dragon, like a serpent dragon. Mecha? Okay, Mecha Soul looks pretty sweet. Storm Dragon. And then Ink Shadow Aurelian. Okay, this, this, this character looks pretty cool, actually. He's a star dragon. He's literally a dragon galaxy. I think that's really cool. I don't know how that would play out in an actual fighting game environment, especially shrinking them down. I mean, they shrunk them down here, I guess. So it's not that big of a deal, but I feel like it wouldn't really trans. I don't know. Maybe it can. This, this character can translate well to a fighting game, but I like his design. I think he looks badass as hell. I give him a three out of five. Next is Azir. Who is this? Azir, huh? What do we got? Galactic Azir, Gravelord Azir, SK Tier Azir. Oh, so he's a bird? Oh, he's one of those uh, chorizos from Metroid. He's a chorizo. Yeah, dude, it looks just like him. That's a chorizo. Uh oh, Chozo, whatever. I don't, I don't remember what it is. I, I think I called him a chorizo during my Metroid Dread playthrough too. Yeah, yeah, I do. It looks cool. I do like this one. This one looks just like Metroid's. Uh, not Metroid. Uh, Samus's dad. I remember that shit. That was crazy. Anyways, I think this character would be pretty cool. I give him a three out of five. He is God. God. Blue Jay gifting that sub to Alara. Let's freaking go, dude. Thank you so much. Alara, you can use as many emotes as you want. I give you permission. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, we're out of the A's and now we're in the B's. Bard. Traveler from beyond the stars. Agent of serendipity. Is that a beard? I think that's a beard. Yeah, that is a beard. It's like a crazy dwarven creature with a beard. Oh, like a little teapot. Oh, that's pretty cute. All right. I like this one. I think he's adorable. Bard? I give him a... Well... The thing is... Bard, while he looks cool... He only looks cool in certain ways. <laughs> I don't like his default. I definitely would rather prefer having like this right here. I think this would be really cool. I give him a two out of five. I should cosplay him. That wouldn't be bad. Next up is Belveth. Belveth, a nightmarish empress. What does she do? What What is she? Does she have wings? She has wings. Battle boss. The head is not real? What does that mean? You mean the head is a decoy? Huh. She has the body. The head is just a bait. Oh, shit. It's a bait? I would have gotten... I, I was, this shit wouldn't have would have gotten me. Real talk, I would not be here 
if Belveth existed. But now that I know that it's bait, one out of five. Let's crank. Oh, there's the face. I was looking for the face. Like, where is it? There it is. A steam golem. Okay. Rusty blitz crank. Boom boom. <laughs> Looks like a real steel character. With huge Jackman. Riot Blitz Tank, Battle Boss. A lot of a lot of different costumes. Halloween. Okay, Zenith. I'm not super big into mechs or robots or uh, Transformers or Megazords and shit like that. You guys know this already. Uh, I, I don't really care for them too much. A one out of five for me. What's happening? Uh, we're, we're, we were looking at Project L stuff and I had the great idea of going through all the League of Legends characters and raiding them. So that's what we're doing. And we're waiting for Granblue Fantasy versus Rising Beta to uh, go up. The Burning Vengeance brand. It's like Infer- like, uh, Cinder. Apocalyptic, apocalyptic brand. Vandal brand. He's like Ghost Rider here. Like good old Mr. Cage. Cryocore. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Kind of like a way more badass looking Mr. Freeze. Zombie brand. Oh, this character's actually kind of sick. Oh, what? He's like all mystical now? Oh, this one's cool, too. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Dude, if they bring this version of Brand in, that's a four out of five. Or this one, four out of five. Everything else is a three. Everything else is a three. Brand is cool. He looks sick. I think a Cinder type of character would be pretty badass in the game. Let's see. Braum? Oh, I love that mustache. What's up, buddy? What's up with that mustache? Oh, shit. Oh, I love him. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, he's Santa Braum? Oh, Crime City Braum? Look at how freaking done up he is. Pool party? Oh, yeah. All right. All right, this is a four out of five. Hell yeah, dude. I want Braum in Project L, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Also, that is not a shield. That is a door. A door? What do you mean a door? Why does he have a door? You know what? Don't answer that. I don't want to know. I don't want to know, dude. Oh, this one. Only default skin. Okay. Don't answer that. It's fine. No, the stash is looking mighty. He's looking like he was going to... You, you, I want to have a beer with Braum. I give him a four out of five. Put him in Project L. Caitlyn? Hello there, Caitlyn. Wait, isn't this lady in, in, in Arcane? Isn't she like a sharpshooter? She's an Arcane, right? She's that, she's that girl. Yeah, I know who this is now. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, I like this one too with the horse. Safari Arctic. Officer Caitlin. Yes, ma'am. Take me away. Headhunter. Oh, this she looks like um Um Shit. Uh Black Widow, what's her face in Overwatch? Uh what was what's her no Black Widow? No, what's a widow maker? My bad. Widowmaker. 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 Oh, she looks interesting there. She looks way more hell, hell, hell demonish. Pulse fire, Caitlyn. Pool party. Oh, that looks cool. That looks pretty great. Prestige. Battle Academia. Yeah, there she is. Yep, that's exactly her. Snow moon, Kate. Ooh, I like that. Heartthrob. Interesting. 
Okay. And then DRX Caitlyn. Which one's which? Actually, yeah, this was Ash. This is Caitlyn, and I think this might be Vi, maybe? Right, something like that. Uh, Caitlyn, I give her a three out of five. She's cool. I like that. I like her and stuff like that, but I feel like she's all right. Three out of five for me. Or Akali, my bad. Not Yeah, Akali, not Vi. My bad. Camille. Who is this? Camille. She looks like she has, like, zen legs. Weaponized to operate outside the boundaries of the law. Camille's the principal intelligence of the clan pharaohs. Yeah, she's got, like, pointy legs. So we got Camille. Program Camille. Oh, wow. She looks wild here. Coven. Wow. Instagram Camille. Wow. Arcana Camille. Oh, this is my... This one's really cool. Strike Command. Oh, this one's really cool, too, though. Man. It's between these two. But anyways, Camille, she looks interesting. Two out of ten. Or two out of five, I mean. Two out of five. She's got the uh, attack on time maneuver gear. I saw that. Yeah, two out of five. Cassiopeia? Oh, wow. She's a Lamia or a snake or a whatever the hell that is. Cassia is a deadly creature bent on manipulating others to her sinister will. Youngest and most beautiful daughter of the noble Duke Couteau, family of Noxus. Cool. So she's a, she's a Lamia. Desperada. Okay. Mythic. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Jay. Oh, this one looks badass as well. Eternum. Spirit Blossom. Coven and Bewitching. Eh, this is whatever. This one's pretty nice, though. Don't know about the blood on the on the cheek. If you wipe that, just get a napkin real quick. She'd look way better. Okay. Um, Serpent Lady, Lamia type of lady. Uh, I'm not a scaly. One out of five. G Cho Chogath. Chogath. Oh, this one looks wild. Wow, that looks like a like a like a Pokemon fan art gone wrong. Gentleman Cho. <laughs> All right, hold on a minute. Maybe maybe I'm taking this a little too far. I like that. <laughs> he looks funny as hell. <laughs> Look at him. He's cute. <laughs> Loch Ness? No. Jurassic? Oh, that actually looks really cool. Just like the skeleton. All right, that looks badass. Battlecast Prime, Prehistoric, Dark Star. Some of these were actually cool. Whoa, this one's crazy. Some of these are actually pretty cool, but I was going to give this a one out of five because Jesus Christ, I don't want that in my game. But I did like... I did like this one. This one. The, the, the Jurassic and the Gentleman. The, the Gentleman was pretty pretty great, dude. Uh, two out of five. Two out of five. What do we have? Corky. Is that a little guy on an airplane? Is that a little airplane. This Dr. Eggman looking mother effer, dude. Corky. Look at that. Red Baron. Hot Rod, you a fighter, <laughs> fanatic, arcade, astronaut. All right, now one out of five. I don't want this guy anywhere near. He's cute and all, but not for me. No, one out of five. What? Nope. Darius. Okay, he's in all Project L already. Darius, we've already seen him. I guess he's been in the game since frame one. From what I imagine, and uh, he's pretty cool. Dunk Master? <laughs> Yo, Dunk Master. I love that. He's got a lot of different outfits, a lot of different looks, and he's already in, and he looks pretty cool. But me personally, three out of five. Dunk Master is a four out of five, because I think it's really funny. Diana. Hello there, Diana. What the hell? That is... Is that her head or is that her hair? 
It's a huge ass forehead. Dark Valkyrie Diane. Oh. Nice. Hello there. Lunar got. Okay. And for oh, I like that with the burning hair. Blood Moon. Oh, this one looks badass. Dark Waters, Dragon Slayer. Battle. Oh, the Battle Queen looks sick. Her sword looks pretty freaking cool, too. I like her sword. Firecracker. It's like a New Year's type of thing. And then Winter Blade. You know what? I think she'd be badass to put in the game. Four out of five. Diana, I'd get I'd put her in Project L and see how she does as like a quick dexterity type of sword user. That'd be sweet, man. Diana's cool. Doctor Oh, this was this guy was an arcane, right? Before but this was before he turned into Dr. Mundo. This is like the Frankenstein. It's like the Hulk. Pretty much. Which is cool. I actually like that a lot. And I really do hope we see somebody like that in the Project L. Mundo wasn't in Arcane? Wait a minute. He's not? Wait, who is the who? Who? Wrong guy? I thought Dr. Mundo was the guy that was sick. No? That's Warwick? Same kind of process, different dude. Oh, okay. Okay, that's singed. Okay. Yeah, Victor. Yeah, Victor. Yeah, yeah, that's Victor, right? No, oh, isn't this... Isn't this Victor? Victor is not Dr. Mundo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Victor is Victor. Oh, okay. I thought this was Dr. Mundo. I don't know why Dr. Mundo came up in conversation. I don't remember. But I was under the impression that Mundo was Victor. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. Draven. Whoa. Hello there. Draven. Oh, he looks kind of cool. Soul Eater Ray. Oh, this. Oh, that looks badass. Gladiator. Oh, he looks like a fun Mr. type. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. There was one guy people thought was Mundo, but turned out to just be a random. Oh, maybe. Okay. This is Tyler 1's main. I wonder why. He does look really cool though. And his smiles. I could see I could see myself playing some Draven. If he's cool, like if he's like maniacal and also like kind of like Yamazaki and King of Fighters, I could see myself liking Draven. He's a major narcissist. Oh, that's how I love it. I love asshole characters like Yamazaki. I would 100% play this character if he's a freaking, a freak, like, and he's like an asshole and he's just like Yamazaki, basically. That's exactly how he is. It all depends on how he acts in game, though. So I, if that's the case, uh, four out of five. Four out of five. 100%. Like, the, the character looks badass and I, I would play him for sure. Echo. Echo's already in the game. Echo's actually super sick. I cannot wait to play Echo because that character seems like he requires a lot of uh, labbing. And I like that. True damage, pulse fire, firelight, star guardian, and prestige. Look at that. Yeah, Echo is pretty badass, dude. I do like Echo. I think is a 4 out of 5. 100. Since I already know how Echo plays and I love it. 4 out of 5. Then you have Elise. Who's that? Spider Queen. Oh, uh, wow. Hello there. Okay. Victorious Elise. Oh. 
Super Galaxy. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You know, she can turn into a spider, huh? Summon spiders. To be honest with you, I love Sadira as a character in Killer Instinct. If she's anything like Sadira, I would love to fucking play her. If she's like Sadira, I'll play 100%. Five out of five. 100%. Cool look. Badass character, really cool gameplay. I love Sadira, and I would play Sadira in a heartbeat, dude. Five out of five. Hell yeah, dude. We have Evelyn? Who's that? Hello there, Evelyn. Oh shit, she turns into like a demon or some shit. Oh! Why, hello there. Huh. Five out of five. I play her. I have yet to see a character that's for me, though. But five out of five. Ezreal. The Prodigal Explorer. Looks like Benny from Genshin Impact. Nottingham Ezreal. Frosted. Explorer, Pulse Fire. Oh, he looks fancy. Ace of Spades, Arcade. I've seen this character before. He looks familiar. He's got a shit ton of skins. Oh my god. He's got a lot. Huh. Alright, well, there's there's that. Azrael. One out of five. I don't give a shit about him. I don't give a fuck about Ezreal. Sorry. Fiddlesticks! Huh. Fiddlesticks. I thought that's what some... Whoa. Oh, he just got a scythe? Oh, okay, hold on a minute. He actually looks kind of cool. Wait, he doesn't look anything like... Huh. Bandito. See... You know what? Fiddle me timbers? Actually, that's cool. Dark Candy Fiddlesticks. Praetorian. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. He got a complete overhaul, and these are his old stuff. He got a complete overhaul? What does that mean? Like, he's a new character? Like, this character doesn't exist. Full rework. completely wait, are you talking about aesthetic or gameplay the default is how he looks now oh wait a minute so this is how he looks now so
So this is how he used to look. And this is how he looks now. I could see him in like a weird Faust type of way, but now he's more demonic, it looks like. So, I don't know. Well, no, not, not now, but like, like in a weird way, like I could see like a Faust. Yeah, like Scarecrow from Injustice 2, exactly. Like, something like that, I could see that. But now it's a little bit more, like, not humanoid. So it's different now. I'd probably say, like, a 3 out of 5. Yeah, like a horror type of archetype, similarly to, like, Hisako, maybe. You know, have to be, like, kind of creepy. You know, like a demonic scarecrow. I could see that being pretty cool, though. I would, yeah, I would go with like a three, like a three out of five. Not bad. All right. Then we have Fiora. Whoa, whoa, hello there, Fiora. What is that? Is that a sword you have there, Chica? Do you fence? You look like you would uphold justice in the name of the law all right she looks like a fencer Ooh, like a musketeer oh that's actually kind of sick night raven head mist i don't usually put teacher outfits Or teachers and like an archetype that I would like. Similarly to like nurses. But there's something about this teacher that I really like. I don't know what it is, nor do I want to know what it is. My brain likes it. Project feel oh like a Metal Gear like rising type of vibe to it. That's actually badass. Pool party. Oh, that's that's cool. I like that. It's like one of those foam swords. It's cool. Man, she's got some sick ass. Oh my god, this is probably some of the best costumes I've seen. Instagram Fiora. Wow. Looks cool. Pulse fire, lunar beast. Bewitching, and then Fairy Court. I won't lie. If those skins go in there... Oh, 5 out of 5. 100%. 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5. You know what I mean? I think she could be really cool. I mean, we already have a bunch of sword-type characters in League of Legends, right? So... I don't know if they're going to be putting... Because you have that one girl from the beginning with the big-ass sword, right? And she was really cool. But, like, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, a fencing type of style. A little bit more, like... How do you say it? Finesse? You know, similarly to, like, Charlotte from Samurai Showdown. Or, like, Catalina from Grand Blue. You know what I mean? A little bit more... You know? I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, five out of five. I wouldn't mind seeing her in Project L. I actually, I, I want her in Project L. Period. Elegant. That's a good way to put it. Fizz. Wait, who's Fizz? Is it the frog or the shark? It's amphibious yordle. Okay, so it's the the the, the frog. He 
looks like a little shithead. I don't know about this guy. Tundra Fizz. <laughs> this was kind of cool with the little beard, the little fisherman. That's kind of cute. Void. Cottontail. Yeah, he looks like a little shithead. Super Galaxy Fizz. That's pretty cool. Fuzz Fizz. <laughs> He's a furry now. I don't like that. Little Devil Fizz. Astronaut Fizz. Yeah, he looks like a little shithead. One out of five. Stay out of my game. He's annoying to fight. I hate him. Yep, I knew it. Galio. The holy shit this is huge. Okay. He looks like what is that? Gleaming outside the gleaming city of Damasia, Stone Colossus Balio. Galio keeps vigilant watch. Huh. Whoa. So he's a gargoyle? He's basically a gargoyle. Alright. Hextech Galio. Commando Galio. Gatekeeper. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool as fuck. Ha, <laughs> he's mad proper here. Look at him. He's mad proper. Birdio Inferno Galio. Dragon Garden. Oh, wow. Actually, that looks pretty cool. Mythmaker Galio. Galio looks pretty cool, actually. I, I like the design. I like the look to it. I could see him being like, oh, well, not really, but not in terms of gameplay design, but like in terms of looks, it's kind of like, uh, what's that guy from Killer Instinct? Oh, God. The boss. The guy with the minions. What's his name? I forget. Gargos. Yes. Yeah, like Gargos. That's the one. Yeah. I don't know if he would be similar in gameplay wise at least with the minions but everything else could be pretty much i don't know well uh, gameplay wise you have this you have wing attack you have seems like he's more support than anything else he's got a lot of crazy shit like that projectiles and shit it's pretty cool maybe not gameplay wise but in, in terms of the look it's definitely kind of like him all right He's a tank? Oh. Is that not support? Wait, are, are tanks support or not? I've always thought tanks were support. The Colossus type of guy? I could see that too. That's a good uh, that, that's, that's a good analogy. Gangplank? Oh, I give Galio uh, 2 out of 5. Saltwater Scourge? Is this guy a... Fr oh, he's a pirate? Oh... I love me some pirates. Spooky gangplank. Ooh. Minute gang. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of Cervantes from Soul Calibur. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of like a spe yeah, special forces. Yeah. Sultan gangplank. Captain gangplank. Dead Nova. Okay, I don't like that. All right, it's cool. He's cooking up some burgers. Hey, want some burgers? Some hot dogs. Hot dogs. FPX? I don't know what that is. And then Gangplank the Betrayer. I, th Dude, I would freaking love this character, dude. I love, like, like pirate-type characters. That's why I really like... Um, oh, what's his face? Um, Spinal. I think Spinal had a really cool, like... Even though he's not necessarily a pirate, but he had a pirate aesthetic that I really... All I've always liked. And I always like Cervantes from Soul Calibur because of that same reason. So I would 100% love this guy, especially if he's got some cool-ass freaking combos with his guns and his swords and cool-ass dude. This would be my my skin for sure. Spooky Gangplank for sure. Uh, I give him a 5 out of 5. Uh, this, is, this is a badass character. I fucking play the shit out of him. FPX is the name of a team. When the team wins a world's champion, Riot makes a skin line for them. Oh, that's how it works. So it's kind of like Capcom Cup. And Capcom Cup, the winner of that gets a free skin for their character. Okay, so it works kind of similar. I see. Uh, okay, okay. Same with the Instagram skin. Oh, I see. I got you. Uh, what's next? What do we have? Garen? The Might of Demacia. Proud and noble warrior. 
fights as one of the dauntless vanguards. Oh my god, he'd be like Crusader from DNF, dude. Is he like a holy guy? He'd be like, in the name of the Lord, hold this mix up. Amen. Maybe not. He's got a sword. Oh, wow. He looks cool there. Ooh, I like the skin. The skin looks badass. Rugged. Eh, for all the people that like a little bit more. Bad boy. You know? Steel Legion. There really isn't a holy in Runeterra. Oh, I gotcha. Well, it's good. Well, as you guys are saying, he's kind of like Darius or anti-Darius or something like that. So, And Darius is kind of crusadery in the first place. He looks like he's going to be like heavy hitting, maybe some armor here or there, but it's kind of cool. Warrior King, God King. Oh, that looks cool. Hey, <laughs> Miami Vice. <laughs> That's cool. Huh, Mecha Kingdom. Battle Academia game. Alright, not bad. Demacia is a weird mix between holy and racist. <laughs> sure. He spins to win. Oh, is he like Whirlwind Barbarian and, and Diablo? Ha, he is. That's funny. Anyways. All right. What else do we have? Gnar or Gnar? Probably Gnar. There's no way in hell anybody would name their character Gnar. All right. Missing Link. That was Darius. Ah, he, he did the... He, 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 he did the thing, though. It's fine. Prove my point. Missing Link. Gnar. Primeval Yordi. Wasn't Yordi that, that little shithead from the water? Can erupt into a toddler's outrage in an instant? <laughs> what? I guess Yordis are basically like uh, a type of people or a type of creature, I imagine. Oh, Yordi. Is it Yorkie or Yordi? It's Yordi, right? Yeah, Yor or Yordle. Is it Yordle? Oh, it's Yordle. My bad. Yordle. All right, so he's a little, little, little guy, huh? He looks cute. Do people like this character? <laughs> uh, do people love this character? He doesn't see. I don't know, man. I, I can't see a world where people would play a character like him. Unless he's fucking broken or some shit. Yes, I love it. He, oh! You know, as soon as I, I read in the chat, he hulks out. He turned into this shit. Where is it? This one? Yeah, there he is. All right. I see. He, he, he hulks out. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, one out of five. I really don't give a shit about Nar. I'm not gonna lie. Um, did I break Garen? I gave him a two out of five. I don't really give a shit about Garen. Um, Gragas. Why, hello there. This guy looks like fun. Oh, he's got a big old barrel. <laughs> Is he a drunk? Equal parts jolly and imposing. Massive, rowdy brewmaster. Yep, he's a brewmaster. He likes his burr. Scuba Grug. <laughs> he's going scuba diving. Hillbilly. Yo, you have to put in the, the hillbilly. Okay. Santa Gracchus. <laughs> Damn, what a weird ass character. But I, I kind of love. Oh, I kind of love him. He'd be like a uh, like uh, Gold Lewis in in Guilty Gear. That's like the perfect like the perfect fit. He'd be like Gold Lewis, dude. Instead of a coffin, you have whatever the hell the 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 the, the barrel barrel of goodies. 
right? But instead of like uh, using it as a weapon, you could use it as a projectile and shit. Maybe like heal up a few times. Maybe take a few swigs. Get like a drunk master type of thing. He's an early league champion, so super uninspired, just a drunk guy. Well, in fighting game terminology, that's kind of sick. That's kind of dope. I would love to see this guy in the game. Four out of five for Gragas. Put him in Project L. Graves. The Outlaw. Hmm. Oh, he's got like a shotgun rifle type of thing. Kind of like McCree, but instead of a, a pistol, he's got a big old like, <laughs> fucking noob tube. <laughs> got a fucking shotgun noob tube. All right. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I got Tommy. Okay, pool party. Cool. Well, he kind of looks like... What was that game? Third-person shooter. Uh, Gears of War? Kind of looks like Gears of War character. Snow Day. Victorious. Pre Praetorian. Oh, he looks kind of sick here. The bird. That bird. Sentinel and EDG. Oh, there he is back there. Man, he's looking fancy. Fun fact, uh, meme about Graves, they took his signature cigar away in an attempt to make it more PG. That's awful. Reminds me of the good old days of four kids dub and they took away Sanji's cigarette for a lollipop. That's bullshit. Give him back a cigar. PG my ass. You think kids are playing this shit? I don't think so, dude. Give me back his cigar. Give him back his cigar so that our 30 year old asses can play him again the way God intended it. Want to make it more PG? It was to comply with certain countries. Oh, fucking countries. Who? I knew it would have. It was other countries. <laughs> If every country was just like America, we wouldn't be having this here problem. You know what I'm saying? Everybody could smoke their God-given cigars like true inspired Americans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Gwen. Who is Gwen? A seamstress. A former doll transformed and brought to life like Pinocchio. Oh, she's got like scissors and shit. Okay, we got kill a kill up in here. That I actually kind of like that. Ooh, I actually I I fucks with that. That's actually sick. Space Groove, Cafe Cuties. I'd be down with this character in Project L, dude. Oh shit, that'd be kind of badass, man. She's new, is she now? Dude, I'd be super down with having her there. I think four, a four out of five. I actually kind of like this archetype, the scissor type of uh, archetype and stuff. It's kind of cool. It's also uh, throws sewing needles. Hey, that'd be kind of sick. You can throw like needles, kind of like Ibuki and Street Fighter, or you can charge it up, charge it up. And it can be similarly to like a mixture of Sheik's needles from Melee and Cagliostro's rock in grand blue because cag has a rock where she if you hold it she gets like a more powerful rock or you can just throw out a very weak one right off the bat if you tap it but if you hold it then you get so it's it's kind of like something kind of like that i think it'd be cool so she can hold it she can throw more needles and it can be more powerful or she can just tap it and just throw one singular needle which doesn't do shit i think that'd be badass and then she's got, obviously, her scissor weapon, which I think is kind of fucking cool. Uh, f I I'm four out of five. Absolutely. Uh, did I rate Graves? I don't think I rated... Did I rate Graves? I don't think I did. Uh, I give Grave... Oh, did I? Okay, we're good. I'll, 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 I'll have you guys be in charge of putting... Hey, rating? That's fine. 
All right, Hecarim. Who the hell is this? Oh, Shadow of War. Spectre fusion of man and beast. Can't display this ability in video format? Wait, why? Is it rated R? <laughs> Is it too much for my feeble brain to comprehend? <laughs> oh, he's a centaur! He's got four legs! Huh. It's only a stat change thing. Oh, so it doesn't really no 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 physical change or anything like that. I get you. Cosmic Charger. Dude, real talk. I think this character would be kind of fucking awesome in Project L. I'm taking a look. I don't think there's ever been a character that's like this. The only character I could think of is that Jojo character from Jojo like part seven or some shit where they ride horses. From JoJo's All-Star shit. Oh, Motaro from Mortal Kombat. I forgot about that guy, too. No one gives a fuck about Motaro. <laughs> JoJo, however. Hold on a minute. <laughs> no, but uh, in all reality, I think this would be a pretty interesting... Pretty interesting take on a character that I, I haven't really seen in uh, the capacity that Project L is, is going towards. I'd give him a 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5. I think this character is kind of fucking dope, actually. I might be bumping it up to 4 out of 5. It's kind of sick, especially th this skin right here. Oh, shit, dude. Fire powers and stuff. It's kind of cool. Nah, I'll keep it at 3 out of 5. It's fine. Um, Heimerdinger. I know this character. This character. No, everyone couldn't stop shutting up about this fucking little guy in Arcane when we were watching it. Heimer Dinger. Duh, Heimer my Dinger. Dinger my Donger. Some shit like that. I don't know. Some stupid shit. Apparently, he's got a global emote on Twitch, too, which is interesting. And uh, I don't know. He's cute. He's kind of cute. I don't know. Heimer Dinger. It's a funny ass name, too, and shit. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> kind of like an Albert Einstein type of look to it. Jaime Snowmerdinker. <laughs> uh, Hazmat Heimerdinger. Dragon Trainer. Pool Party. Oh, he's building a sandcastle. That's adorable. Heimer Stinger. So would they put him in Project L like as is? Because then we would have like some sort of a serve bot from MVC2 type of ordeal going on and that would kind of suck. Does he have like a machine? You know, or something to kind of lift him up? Or kind of like, um... You play like Rocket Raccoon. Oh, that is a good point, though, which would still kind of suck because Rocket Raccoon was a piece of shit. Um, especially in MVCI Infinite. I would go ahead and say Heimerdinger. I don't know. I don't want short characters in my game. One out of five. Even though I kind of like them. I don't really care. Oh, well, okay. Two out of five. Oh, I think one out of five is too much. I think two out of five is, 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 is fine. Two out of five for me. Ela Oi, a crap. Wait, this character's already coming out, right? She's the fourth character, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's already in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. So she's like big, strong mommy archetype. Similarly to like. Not Marissa. Maybe like Marissa. Who's that character from Samurai Showdown? 
The one with the chain, like with, with the with the with with the with the saw sword. What's her name? Real strong. Female Wooly? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Darley, yes. That's her name. Yeah, Darley. Yeah, she's in King of Fighters as well as a guest character with uh I think it was uh What the fuck? I only know her bird. Mama ha <laughs> ha That's the only one I know. And uh Haomaru. Yeah, Darley. Kind of like Darley, right? Like big old strong. You know, she can kick your fucking ass. Kind of slow, juggernaut-ish. But big damage. You know? So, yeah, it is. It, it, so, it'll. It, so, they Mr. described Strummer, her as a juggernaut? Going to speak. Okay. The thing is, there are some skins of characters that are very old and other new ones that have better aesthetics. I gotta deal with what I got, amigo. But I like that. So, it's basically like Marissa. But she's gimmick, she sets traps. She's a Marissa juggernaut type that sets traps. Set play. Sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good time. You know what? Uh, I'm going to give her a good old three out of five. She's already in the game. I'm, I am I want to see. She's probably going to be at Evo, to be honest, when she's the playable build of Project L, because there's four characters there. And uh, it's probably going to, she's probably going to be at Evo. We'll see. What did you think? What did you think about Cantonese VTubers? You mean, I have no idea. She isn't at Evo? Wait, what? Wait, do we know which character is going to be there? Well, they, they... Cantonese D... What? Cantonese these d nuts <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me think about that. Can't Onis Can't Onis Cantonese nuts. Cantonese nuts. Wait, wait, wait. English is hard, okay? What the fuck? Can't own these? Can't on these. I'm a happy man. You like that? <laughs> Anyways, good one, Alara. You got me. <laughs> I give that a uh, solid four out of five. Come up with a better one, though. Maybe you can get above average these nuts joke. Chica. Did she mess up the joke? I don't think she messed it up. I just don't think Cantonese is a very good wait, joke. Wait, English is hard, okay? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I'm missing the joke. Maybe it's me. <laughs> see, if you... See, on me, it doesn't really work that well unless it's really good. On Nags, you try that shit on Nags, man, that hive mind will find anything funny. Down the hall, to the left. Can't miss them. They're the ones that are raising their hands and making stupid faces. Uh, anyways. <laughs> it feels so easy, it wasn't even chat. Yeah, it's not, it's not hard. It's not hard at all. Anyways, next character. Oh, what was it? Aurelia. The Blade Dancer? Hmm. Huh. Produce many heroes, none of the likely young Aurelia of Navori. Nightblade. Huh. Aviator? Infiltrator. Frostblade. Oh, that, that the skin looks pretty cool, actually. Order of the Lotus. Oh, this one looks awesome, actually. So she just basically has a bunch of floating swords. You know what she reminds me of? She could, She's like, uh, yeah, like a, a Murakumo unit. Check out Frostbit. 
Oh, the booty? She's like new 13. Instagram Aurelia. Yeah, so she's like a, a Morocco unit. Frostbutt. Wait, was it Frostbit or Frostbutt? Oh, wait, Frostblade. Wait, where's Frost? But I don't know. Oh, I'm just going to keep going. Project Aurelia, Prestige. Oh, this one looks badass, actually. High Noon, Sentinel, Prestige, Mythmaker. I think my favorite one is probably like the. Where is it? Where is it? This one. Divine Sword. I'd really like this one. They nerfed her, but in the splash art. Oh, so th this butt was bigger? Damn, do, do we have something pre-nerf? God, I hate these these people nerfing butts. First snake and now Frostblade Aurelia? Can you believe that shit? Google it? Uh, no, I don't think I will. With the amount of porn that they make of League of Legends, I don't doubt that I'm going to be running into some of that shit. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and give Aurelia... I'm going to give her a 3 out of 5. I don't know. No, I'll probably give her a 2. I don't really care for her too much. She's whatever. You know, it's fine. I'll give her a 2. I don't really care for her. Anyways. Evern? After Evern, I'm taking a break. I need to go use the, the restroom. I need to go for an idol meeting. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here it is. Fox already has... Is on the scene. That was her beforehand. That was her booty before? It's a nice booty. That's a nice booty. That's a nice booty. Okay. It's a Frostblade skin, but zoomed in. The version of the Splash Shot was literally just her butt, and it was 12 out of 10 before her visual update, hence the Frostbutt meme. Oh, I see. I would conquer Troy for those cheeks. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Friend of the forest. What the hell is this thing? Known as many as a green father. A particular, peculiar half man, half tree. You can play as a tree? Candy King Ivern. Dunk Master by for Joe. All right. That's kind of badass. Old guy. Oh, that looks crazy. An astronaut. That was whatever. Interesting. Green father. Oh, there he is. Huh. I don't really care for this character. Two out of five for me. Aurelia rating? Uh, I gave Aurelia a two out of ten. Uh, two out of five, I mean. Two out of five. Two out of five. The, this, the rating's out of five. I gave Aurelia two out of five. Uh, I'm, I'm not a... It's whatever. Hello there. Wait, I was going to take a break, but before that, hello there, Jenna. Who are you? Oh, so you're a wind? Oh, you make tornadoes and cyclones and shit. Okay. So, Jenna, Tempest Jan. Whoa, she, she kind of looks like Shiva from Final Fantasy. Victorious. Orc. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Fanatic. Star Guardian. Sacred Sword. Man, these are cool ass skins. Bewitching. It's a Halloween, I imagine. Of course, she has a bunch of skins because huh, look at her. Battle Queen. This one looks kind of cool. Oh, this one looks awesome, actually. I love the vibrant ones as, uh, uh, as long as like it fits well with the character. It's really cool. Cyber Halo. Oh, she looks like a green mercy. This was okay. Dude, this got some cool ass skins. My favorite one by far. Where is it? Yeah. Tempest. That's a badass looking friggin thing, huh? Okay. 
You think they would? It would be like uh, what's that character from DNF? God dang it! Uh, Windmaster. Is his name Windmaster? What's the DNF character's name? Swift Master. My bad. Swift Master. If it's something like Swift Master, I think that would be kind of cool. That's the case four out of five for me. But I don't think uh, she's going to be like that. She looks like she's a supporter from what you guys are saying. So it'd be kind of interesting to be able to incorporate some something out of this. Uh, maybe setting up wind traps, cyclones, you know, kind of like Rashidi type of shit. But I don't know. If it's like Swiftmaster, though, I'm 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 down with that. Or like Storm, I'd be down with that, dude. If she's like, if they make her into Project L's version of Storm, five out of five. Five out of five. Um, yes. Uh, let me go have an idle meeting. I'll be right back. Let me turn up the music. Um, give me just one second. We'll continue on. Uh, we are leaving off with Jarvan. We're only in J. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of characters in this game. Okay. I'll be right back. Give me a second. I'm going to go idle meeting. Give me a second. All right. Jarvan 4. Who are you, amigo? Prince Jarvan, scion of the Light Shield Dynasty, is heir to a parent to the throne of Damasia. All right. So he seems like a spear character. Bonks him. This could be a pretty cool character. I won't lie. It's a Jarvan... Some sort of spear, big old sword. Wait, is he a spear or is he a sword or, or both? Mr. Strummer, I'm going like to a, speak. A, so a spear. Go, oh, I forget. Does the FGC call the top tier characters in their games as the meta like in League? Meta. Slash 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 me don't miss Juvos and two boga slash 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 thanks billion. <laughs> you gotta do dots. See, that would have been good. If you just remembered that it's not slashes, is dots. And it's not huevos with a J, it's huevos with an H. Google Translate, amigo. He'll be your best friend, I promise. But nice try. Dragon Slayer? Looks pretty badass. Dark Forge? Yeah, in some pictures, it's a spear. Some pictures, it's a Naginata like this. It's like, oh, this is like Labu. That's kind of cool. Some pictures, it's like a sword. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It might be a spear, dude. All right. I'm saying it's a spear. I think it's more spear than anything else. But he's back there chilling, drinking a freaking a Blue Mary or whatever you guys, whatever blue drinks you guys drink. Lunar Beast, World's 20. Oh, this one looks badass, actually. And Nightbringer. All right, not bad. This could actually be a pretty neat character looking at it. Yeah, because it looks like it's like a... Yeah, it's like a, he's a stabby character. It's like a spear. It's like a spear and shit. See, I like spear characters. I think a spear character done right is super freaking fun. For example, my Natsume in Blaze Blue... I also really like, uh, what's, what the hell's his face in DNF? He's also a spear character. He's really fun. I can't remember, but I think a spear character would be pretty badass. So I would say Jarvan four. I give him a three out of five. Vanguard. Thank you. Yes. God, I'm, I'm blanking out on a lot of these names, man. I'm not blanking out on Jax though. What do we got? Jax here. Looks like a big old like a, a hammer type of guy just a big old honking kind of like Astaroth and Soul Calibur unmatched in both his skill and unique armaments armaments and his biting sarcasm Jax is the last known weapon master of Ikathia he's got big hubris huh is that what that is is he more of a bludgeoning type of, of, of character eh maybe not Eh, kind of. It's kind of bludgeoning. Not necessarily like a big old hammer. But maybe it is. I'm not sure. It looks like more of a staff than anything else. The mighty jet. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right. Vandal Jacks. Yeah, seems like some sort of a staff more than anything else. 
Um, he's got a straight lamp. Yeah, that's what I noticed in his default. Fun fact about Jax, he fights with a broken lamp post because he's the master of every type of weapon. He wants to handicap himself to make it more fair for you to fight him. All right, that's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, that's kind of cool. It's like, uh, what's his face? It's like, uh, there's a character that closes their eyes and when they open them, that's when real shit happens. You know, they close their eyes because they want to handicap themselves because they're too powerful. Or they're trying to master their ears or their hearing instead. But that's pretty. That's a pretty badass premise. And that's a pretty badass freaking costume. Look at that shit, dude, with the little sombrero and shit. It's kind of cool. Gojo? Yeah, you could say Gojo is one of them. That's not who I was thinking about, but... Gojo is definitely the perfect example. Oh, this looks cool. God Staff? Ooh, that's dude if this is the character that came into project l and he's a staff life character all right conquer jacks prestige empyrean empyrean jacks all right Jax is kind of badass i kind of like Jax. if 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 it turns out to be like a really cool staff character or Something like that. I would I would give this character a four out of five. I think this character would be per I'd play this character for sure. I love me some staff characters. Who's next? Jace? Wait, this character was an arcane. I know this guy. This guy's the big old hammer fella. Yeah, he was an arcane. This guy's the hammer fella. Full metal Jace. Ah, it looks pretty nice. Forsaken Jace. Jace Brighthammer. Look at that. He looks kind of cool there. Then you got Battle Academian. Resistance. There's the Arcane version of him. Zenith Games. Jace. Big old hammer type character. Similarly to like Astroth and stuff. He can bonk you. Hey, but he actually has some pretty interesting abilities that he could do with his hammer. Not just bonk you with it. And shoot projectiles with it and shit. Ah, uh, Jace. I don't give. A, I don't give a shit about Jace personally. I give him a, a two out of ten. A uh, two out of five. I personally don't really care for Jace. But let's find out if I care about Jin or Jahin. Jahan is a meticulous criminal psychopath who believes murder is art. All right, going down a good path already. What do we have here? Finger lasers? What the hell? Does he shoot guns with his, like, like that? Shoot with his fingers? He's got other things, too. He probably has actual guns, though. Well, let's find out with his costume. I think he has an actual gun. Ah, see, there Mr. it is. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Blood Moon. Is the Joker if the Joker was an immoral artist? The Joker if the Joker was an immo artist, huh? Okay. Kind of interesting. Project Jin. Dark Cosmic. Sh Shanghai Scrolls. And then Empyrean Jin. That looks kind of cool. Ah, he's a fan favorite. Not for me. One out, of, one out of five. I don't really care for him. Maybe he's more gameplay. Maybe people like his gameplay more than anything else. Because I, I, I don't give a shit. Anyways. Jinx from Arcane. Manic, impulsive criminal from Jean. Jinx lives and wrecks havoc without care without con for the consequences. Yep. We kind of know her from... She's, she's inevitable. She's coming in the game. No matter what. Let me take a look at her outfits. I'll tell you my rating after that. Look at that. I do really like Arcane Jinx more than regular Jinx, if there is such a thing. Crime City Jinx is kind of cool. Man, she is she is bad shit, huh? She kind of she every picture she's in, she's just bad shit. Well, this one she looks kind of normal. Ambitious Elf, Odyssey Jinx, Project Jinx, Heartseeker, Arcane. Yeah, this is I think my favorite Jinx. Uh, Battle Cat and then Prestige Battle Cat. Uh, Jinx, I think, would be really cool. I like Battle... Uh, I'm sorry. I like Arcane Jinx. I think that version of Jinx is my favorite. Uh, 
and that's probably what's going to be coming out for project l because she obviously she's gonna show up i would say probably a three out of five though yeah i can fix her good luck with that amigo who else do we have okay sante or Cassante. whoa what the hell is that what is he holding oh damn are those big old tonefus ginormous tonefus holy shit wow oh this will look sick he's a stance character and he's new oh i like this outfit too yeah he's like uh this character is based off lil nas x the artist oh really interesting i kind of like him dude big ass tone of us i don't know man big old juggernaut type character with like brush attacks and tone fuzz and shit huh i kind of like it i'll give him a three out of five it would be a pretty cool addition i won't lie three out of five for Cassanta. yeah newer character too apparently kaisa whoa who are you my lady Hello there. What is that? Claimed by the voice, she was the only a child. Kaisa managed to survive through sheer tenacity and strength of will. What the hell? God damn. What is that on her back? Is that like a jetpack? Whoa, I think it is. Oh, I don't know if I like the jetpack. I do like this outfit, though. But which one is her? Is this one her? No, that, that looks like another one. Which one is her? Is she over here? Wait, that is her? Huh. Oh, there she is. Nice booty. Instagram, Kaisa. Arcade. Oh, she kind of looks like Tracer outfit. Looks very k poppy. Okay, DA. That's probably why. Lagoon Dragon. Oh, this one looks kind of cool, actually. Star Guardian looks cute. Ink Shadow. I like this. Probably my favorite one. I like the short hair and stuff. It's kind of cool. Ah, uh, Kaisa. First glance, I thought I was going to like her more, but looking more at her, I don't know. Uh, she's, it says she's a marksman, so she might be more zoner oriented, and she... Has some pretty interesting things. If she's a rushdown character, I'd like her, but I don't know if anything else. I'd, I'd give her a three out of five. Callista. Huh. Specter of Wrath and Retribution. Is the undying spirit of vengeance. Calm down, Chica. Not that big of a deal. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Holy. Callista, Blood Moon Callista, Championship Callista, Marauder. Oh, that looks badass. Fairy Court. Ooh. This one looks pretty nice. I like her weapon. Nice. Uh, I'd probably give her a two out of five. Two out of five. Yeah. Callista, I will put that at a two out of five. That's fine. Karma. Ooh, hello there, Karma. All right. She's a mage. Probably has different projectiles and shit. Different spells and whatnot. Okay. Karma. Sun goddess Karma. Ooh, this skin looks actually sick. Sakura Karma. Traditional Karma. Order of the Lotus, Warden, Conqueror, Dark Star, Dawnbringer, Odyssey, Ruined, Tranquility, and Fairy Queen. These are actually all pretty good skins. My favorite one by far is this one. Sun Goddess. Kind of Aztec-y. I like it. Not bad. 
Karma, when it comes to gameplay, I'm not sure if I would like her. It's weird to say. If she's like more Ermac-y, then I'd like her, but I don't know if she actually does have like telekinesis-like powers. So I'm sure it's something else. You guys, I, I could probably find out, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. But I think she could be pretty interesting. Three out of five. Less Ermac, but more jury, but ranged. Sure. You playing League? No, I'm not playing League. This is for Project L. I'm looking at all the characters. Uh, what do we got? Karthus? Oh, shit. We only have 40 more minutes until Grand Blue Fantasy Versus comes in. Let's freaking go, baby. League of Legends. Good distraction. All right. Karthus. What is this? Harbinger of Oblivion. Karthus, Undying Spirit, of whose haunting songs are pre prelude to the horror of the nightmarish appearance. It's kind of cool. Kind of like a eldritch horror type of thing. Phantom Karthus. Statue of Karthus? <laughs> they made a freaking skin off of the Statue of Liberty. That's funny. Grim Mr. Reaper Stummer, I'm going to speak. He's a nid monstrosity, but he's got a great singing voice. So he's like a mermaid. That's kind of neat. Karthus Lights Bane. Man, the infernal skins are really cool looking, man. I'm a fan. Pentakill. Whoa. Looks crazy. And then Elderwood Karthus. He looks evil as fuck. Okay. Karthus. I don't know. Uh, one out of five. I don't really care. You mean a siren? Isn't that the same shit? Isn't that the same shit, pretty much? Siren, mermaids? I don't know. Pentakill is a band as well? Oh, okay. Just finished watching a reaction to Iron Mouse reacting to Goran Ramsey's cooking Pegao, and you really want to know, is Pegao the same as what we Dominicans and... Uh, have called Kong Kong. No, uh, hold on a minute. I think I know what Kong Kong is. Hold on a minute. Kong Kong. Well, let me, let me, let me see. I think I, I've, I've heard of that shit. Oh, I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. I guess Kong Kong is like Pegao. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it is the same. I was, oh, you know what I was thinking about? I was thinking of Kongri. I was thinking of Kong Ri, not Kong Kong. But yeah, Kong Kong is basically Pig Out. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, anyways. Uh, Cool, so that, who was that? Who was that? Karthus? Okay, who's this? Kasadin. What's Kasadin with you? Um, Cutting a burning swath through the darkest places. Okay, some chuny shit. I don't care. All right, it's probably okay. Kind of like, oh, ooh, look at that! Festival Casadin, Kaisa's father. Oh, Harbinger Casadin, Cosmic Reaver Count Casadin. Interesting. Casadin, huh? His Dark Blade is kind of cool. It'd be some pretty cool stuff. I don't really care for this character, though. One out of five. What else do we have? Katarina? Two swords? Two? Really, no. Akimbo swords? <laughs> I like that. All right, Katarina. Mercenary... Right. Red card. Cool. Oh, she's got a pirate skin too. No, forget about it, dude. Whoa. Kitty cat. High command. Sandstorm. Oh, I would love the sandstorm. Sleigh bell. Sleigh bells ring. 
uh, Warring Kingdom Project. Holy shit! How many fucking costumes does she have? Project Katarina, Death Sworn Katarina. Wow. Battle Academia, Blood Moon, Battle Queen, High Noon, Fairy Court, Prestige. Damn, these are some good ass skins. This one's badass too. This one and this one. <laughs> she is already in Project That Way. How do you know this shit? Where's your? Where are you guys getting this shit? Did they confirm it? She's in the game. She's in the game. She was shown in the very first trailer. Oh, was she? God, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen that trailer. Oh, shit. Well, five out of five. I know that Jinx. I, I do know that they showed off Jinx, but maybe it's be, maybe I know these characters now. And back then I was like, who the fuck is that? Now I know who they are. Now I, and I can't put the pictures together because, you know, it was a long time ago, but if I rewatch it, I'm like, oh, that's that bitch. Perfect. Five out of five. I want this character in. This is potentially my main. Potentially. Very first build in 2020 before it was 2v2. I definitely want to take a look at the, 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 the initial trailer now. Yeah, it would make sense that you wouldn't know the champ. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. I, I have no idea. Who the hell? Wait, are these two or what? What? Two or one? Or two in one? Kale. So, born to Targonian aspect at the height of the Rune Wars, Kale honored her mother's legacy by fighting the Justice and Wings of Divine Flame. One. Kale's the angel. Kale's on the right. Why? Well, okay, gotcha. Okay, so that's the angel. I'm some mercy shit. But more attack oriented rather than support. So Kale, Silver Kale. Oh, she looks kind of cool. Transcended, Battleborn. It's like a Valkyrie. That's kind of cool. Ooh, the glasses. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Pentakill, that's like the band. All right. Psyops, Dragon Slayer. And some of them she has two swords and some of them she has one. If she was a Kimbo Swords, my opinion would change drastically for sure. But for right now, I think she's a solid 3 out of 5. Yeah. She gains two swords when she ults? Oh. Dude, if they could incorporate that. If she does like a super and then she just... Kind of like Nikali from Street Fighter V. Like she gets an install or some sort of a super later on in the match and then she gets like two swords she becomes a completely different character that would be f kind of interesting don't know if it would be good but it'd be interesting all right for now it's three out of five though we'll see yeah kind of like vera and grand blue as well yeah yeah, yeah. all right kane who you oh you're a scythe character I do like scythe characters. Lethal, shadow, magic, shield, uh, Sheeta, Kane battles to achieve his true destiny. What the fuck? Wait, what? Did he stab himself? He stabs himself? That's kind of crazy. Huh. Oh. Kane. Soul Hunter Kane. That's kind of cool. Odyssey. Nightbringer. Prestige. And Snow Moon. You know, if they make this character like Testament and Guilty Gear, I'd be down, dude. I think Testament's such a fucking badass character, gameplay wise, that I wouldn't mind having some sort of a sick ass. Scythe. And Scythe characters are cool in general. Like, Gordo is badass. I mean, Ruby's not badass, but she's at least fun. So, Scythe characters would be pretty cool to have in the game. I'll give him a 3 out of 5. 
Who else? Kanen? What is that? Is that like a ninja cat? Ionian Balance Kenan is a Yordle, another Yordle member of Kinko, which is, I imagine, a ninja de gozaimas, de, de, de gozaru. Ninja de, goza, de gozaru. Look at that, the little shurikens and shit. That's adorable. Oh my god, he has electric powers too. He's an electric ninja. He's like a Pokemon. I'm surprised they haven't made a, an electric ninja Pokemon, by the way. All right, well, Deadly Kanen, Swamp Master Kanen, Karate. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. I don't know what that is. What? MD? Like a doctor? Arctic Ops, Blood Moon, Super Kanen? Oh, there he is down here. <laughs> <laughs> infernal oh okay so that's that's what that's who that was okay infernal the, the infernal skins are so cool astronaut can end actually dwg can end looks pretty badass with the little neon ears and tail and claws it's kind of cool yeah ninja chew yeah it's like a pikachu yeah <laughs> yeah i don't like short characters but out of all the short characters this one's probably my favorite i'll give him a three out of five I wouldn't mind this one. It's a little, little cute little little Pikachu. Kazix. What the hell? Kazix. It's like an insect? That looks like a... Huh. Uh, Myriad spawn to these trues is more apparent than Kazix. Or Kazix. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, it looks like a bug. It's got like Scyther. It's got a Scyther type of vibe. Another Pokemon, huh? Scyther! Mecha. I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like him. I think it's kind of cool. I don't mind creature type, you know, archetypes and stuff. As long as they're cool like this, you know? I just kind of like Scyther. It's kind of cool. Usually this would go straight to one, but I I don't know. I kind of am growing to Kazix. I, I, three out of five. I kind of like him. He can go invisible. So he's like alien from Mortal Kombat. Damn, that'd be nuts. All right. Yeah, I'll give him a three out of five. Not bad. Kindred. What is this? It's creeping me the fuck out. I don't like it. It's like some sort of a separate but never parted. Kindred represents the twin essences of death. Lamb, bow, offers a swift release from the mortal realm. And those who accept faith, wolf hunts down those who run to their end. Oh, it's like two representations of death. Oh, so this is the sheep. Sweet release of death. Merciful. And this one's the one that's like, you're running from it? All right, I'm going to fuck you up now. Send you down to the river sticks. Kind of a cool concept. Kind of a cool concept. I kind of like it. It's it reminds me a little bit of a uh, ghost. Fuck, what's the guy in DNF? Ghost, dude. What's his name? Ghost Blade. Thank you. God dang it, dude. Why can't I remember this shit? Anyways, Ghost Blade. Yeah. So, you know, kind of something similar where you get like different special moves and you have the wolf and then you have. Wait, what? Huh. I kind of love this skin, though. Yeah, it has some human designs. It seemed yeah, that kind of threw me for a loop. But I think this one's my favorite one. This one's really sick. I love to see this this character as a, as a Project L character. I think the concept for this character is kind of sick. Uh, four, out, four out of five. Four out of five for uh, Kindred. Kled? 
Imagine this one's clad. A Yordle clad embodies the furious bravado of Noxus. Wait, so he rides the little dinosaur? I'm getting some like Roger Jr. Alex flashbacks and I don't think I like it. Sir Cled. However, this little thing looks like a chocobo and I kind of fucking love it. What the hell, dude? Marauder. <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give two ratings. As a design and as a character, I kind of fucking love it. It's kind of sick. He's just riding a little chocobo or a little little raptor, and I kind of find that badass. As a fighting game character, I don't want this guy anywhere near me. Okay, because that'd be—I don't know. I just think I, I just think it'd be janky. Any animal characters like in Tekken, I just get PTSD and I I just can't cope well. So I'm gonna give that a two out of five. But you know, in terms of design and concept, you know what? Four out of five. It's kind of kind of kind of kind of nice. It's goofy but fun. Um, Kogma. What's a Kogma? Mouth of the Abyss. You're just a little, you're just a creature. Caterpillar? Sonor? Butterfly? What? Deep sea? Why does he have so many skins? He's not deserving of those skins. One out of five. One out of five. I don't like him. Anyways, LeBlanc or LeBlanc, the deceiver, mysterious even to the other members of Black Rose Cabal. LeBlanc is one of the many names for a pale woman who has manipulated people and events since the earliest days of Noxus. Okay, so she's an assassin. Shoots fireballs. Some rush down shit. Some chains and shit. Wicked LeBlanc. Oh, that's a cool cool costume. Prestigious LeBlanc. Misoto LeBlanc. Raven born LeBlanc. Elderwood. So she's like more magic, magic oriented. Oh, this is a weird. I don't like this costume. Instagram LeBlanc. Coven LeBlanc. Champ. Oh, this one looks kind of sick. Is that? Either one of these two, I don't know, but this one looks she looks fucking sick. Prestige Coven LeBron. Deb oh, this one looks kind of like a poison ivy type of look to it, and I kind of like that. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. People hate her. Hating on Cog and liking LeBlanc is some BS. Is that what? <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm just looking from outside the box. In terms of gameplay, I don't know if I'd like her that much. I like her design. But not that much. Eh, probably three out of five. Yeah, not not super incredible. We saw Lee Sin already. <laughs> I gave him a two. Leona. Actually, people were telling me to look at Leona. Oh, she looks like she's packing some heat. Imbued with the fire and sun, Leona's a holy warrior of Solari. So she's like a crusader. Huh. Okay. And she's got like shield and sword and yeah, the Valkyrie. Oh, this one looks kind of sick. LeBlanc is literally the incarnation of Slippery. I, I make your HP go, by, go to zero in less than two seconds. Damn. 
Defender Leona, Iron Solari, Pool Party, Project Leona, Barbecue. <laughs> That's cute. Solar. Oh, she looks kind of badass. Lunar. Oh, I, I prefer the Lunar over the Solar. Mecha Kingdom. Battle Academia. EWG. There she is. She looks kind of sick. Prestige Battle. Debonair. High Noon. And Cristali. Oh, this one looks great. The purple. I love that. Uh, Leona, I give her a three out of five. She's okay. She's she, she's all right. Lilia, what? Who who are you? So you're Bambi in waifu form. Bambi in waifu form. Huh. I don't know, man. I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> on. Spirit Bloom, Nightbringer, and then Shanghai Scrolls. I don't know, man. I think it'd be kind of funny. Imagine her, like, back dash and shit, her back run. She just trots away. And, yeah, three out of five. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know. I'm thinking mostly gameplay. You know, that's it. I'm mostly thinking gameplay. That's it. Then we have Lysandra. Huh. Lysandra's magic twists the pure power of ice into something dark and terrible. Huh. Black ice. Ring of frost. What's going on here? Hold on. I have to... I'm getting weird. Uh, skipped Lee Sim. No, Lee Sim. I think that was... Uh, we, we did it at the beginning. I gave him a 2 out of 5. So, Lissandra. Bloodstone. Blade Queen. Program. Oh, this is a nice skin. Oh, this one's nice. Oh, this one's kind of dope, too. Eh. This one's sick. Eh. Well, okay, Lissandra, interesting type character. I don't know if she would play, like, pretty slow from my likings or taste. I'll give her a two out of five. Eh, she's whatever. Uh, oh, shit. There we go. Lucian. What the hell is a Lucian? The Purifier. Lucian the Sentinel Light is a grim hunter of undying spirits, pursuing them relentlessly and annihilating them with his own relic pistols. Ah, he's got guns. Oh, shit. He's like Reaper from Overwatch. He's got guns. Hired gun. Striker. Project. Oh, this, this skin looks fucking sick. All right, that, that skin looks dope. High noon. Oh, this skin looks awesome too, actually. He's blade without the sword. That's badass. Actually, this character is fucking sick. Victorious. Arcana. Yeah, I kind of love this character. I'd play this character in a heartbeat. If if he's like, dude, if he's like a Noel type of thing from Blaze Blue. That'd be badass as hell, dude. Like Ranger or like Blaze Blue. Like with Noel and stuff. Oh man, that'd be sick, dude. Four out of five. I'd play him. Lulu! What the shit is that? She's just a little, little, little thing. Young Yordle Mage. His recall, it was a reference to Noel, if I remember correctly. There you go. <laughs> Look at her. She... <laughs> Look at her. She's, she's so tiny. Bittersweet. Wicked. Winter. What? Pool party. Star guardian. Cosmic. Pajama. 
Space Groove. Monster Tamer. One out of five. Uh -uh. I don't give a fuck about Lulu. Lux. Lady of Luminosity. Oh, I get if, if we're if, if I can go back down to zero, I would do zero. Yeah, Lulu is zero. All right, Lady of Luminosity Lux. Luxana Crown Guard hails from Demacia, an insular realm where magical abilities are viewed with fear and suspicion. Okay. So is she a mage? She's a mage. She does magical stuff. She like twirls her baton and shit. Like she's part of marching band. Kind of cool. Sorceress Lux. Imperial Lux. The Allegion. Like a magical girl. <laughs> oh, this is a really pretty one. Lunar Empress. This is this one's also really nice. Uh, pajama. Pajama. Battle Academia. Prestige. Eh. 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 Oh, this one looks nice. I like the hat. The hat's cool. I'm a big fan of the hat. This one looks crazy. Lux! You know what? I'd be down with her if she was, like, more rushdown. If she was, like, a rushdown type of character where she would use her magic but in a more, like, fast-paced type of way. If she wasn't super slow. I think she'd be pretty fun. Four out of five. Four out of five. Most likely a zoner. Oh, then three out of five. Actually, two. Two. Like, if she can incorporate all this shit, kind of like zoning-wise, and kind of do more setup-y type of stuff, that'd be pretty cool. But if she's zoner, two out of five. I don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> I, I I think that, that place that would be pretty fun. Like a rushdown mage. What is this? Malphite? Is that just a, a mountain? That's just that's just a mountain. Massive creature of living stone. Malphite struggles to impose blessed order on chaotic world. <laughs> that, that's just that's just the rock. Dwayne Johnson. That's just that's just the rock. Coral reef, marble. Oh, he's like, uh, what's his name? Aganos from uh, Aganos from uh, Killer Instinct. Mecha Malphite, Ironside, Odyssey, Dark Star, Prestige. Okay, that's, that's pretty neat. Old God, Lunar. This one looks pretty badass. Eh, two out of five. Two out of five. Twitch Prime. Malzahar. Malzahar, the prophet of the void. A zealous seer dedicated to the unification of all life. Void shift. So oh, a little bit more. A lot of mages and shit. Goddamn. More magical stuff. Interesting. Vizier Mahazar. Shadow Prince. <laughs> this is pretty cool. A djinn. Overlord. Snow Day. Battle Boss, Hex Tech, World Breaker, Bizahar, Debonair, Three Heroes. Eh, I don't give a fuck about them. One out of five. Man, how much more? Fucking Christ. Like, Jesus Christ. How many? 160. Well, I know how many, but geez, man, it's a figure. It's more of a figure of speech than anything else. No, I ain't finishing this in 10 minutes, boys. Dude, did this exact same thing happen last time we tried doing this shit? <laughs> we just got cut halfway. <laughs> oh, man, it happened again. Same place, too? No shot. I don't remember any of these heroes. 
Jeez, man. You gotta be kidding me, brother. Oh, shit! Speaking of being kidding... Falsite's coming in hot! Holy shit, what's going on, peeps? Get big shoutouts to False. What's going on? What's new, everybody? <laughs> oh god, the press is here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? The guy that always forgets the D. False ID. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Have you fixed the T3 false bit False ID. <laughs> I do call him false ID, huh? <laughs> You're right. Whoops, that's my bad. What's going on, guys? Welcome in, welcome in. Come on over, have a seat. Hopefully you guys had a good stream. Same thing with you guys. I hope you guys had a good stream. False, I hope you had a fantastic stream. And uh, you guys were doing research on EN, EN Gen 3? Okay, that's sick, man. <laughs> Celebratory stuff. <laughs> All right, sounds good. But anyways, great stream. Advent hype, of course, of course. This weekend's going to be a pretty good one. It's going to be a pretty good one. I'm excited to see the clips and the highlights and all that good jazz. Damn, gifting a sub to a tier 3 sub? Yeah, these guys are too generous around here, man. So everyone wave to false, obviously. Just uh, always a pleasure. We're going to be, for those of you who don't know, uh, I uh, am going to be playing... The new Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising Beta. I got the early code. It's actually it's going on in 10 minutes. But we were looking at Project L, which is a League of Legends fighting game. Never have I played League of Legends, and I'm looking through all the characters that could potentially make it into that fighting game. So, here I am going through all these characters, and I still have... I've been at this for about two hours. Maybe not that long. Maybe a little bit less. And I still got... Dear God. So many characters. Jeez, Alu. You owe me two tier three videos. I hope you fixed. I know, man. I know. I'm so bad at that. Uh, rate the tree. Which one? I already rated one tree. I gave it a two out of five because I didn't give a shit about the tree. Um. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much the the, the deal. If, you, if it's your first time around here, I like to watch VTubers. I like to watch videos. I like to play video games. I'm a big fighting game enthusiast, and uh, we like to have fun around here. So that is the deal around here. I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you guys are hopping off, you guys have a great day. Same thing to you, Falls. If you uh, are going to be hopping off, I hope you have a good one. <clears throat> and then keep up the good work, amigo. What about the feet? What, 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 what are you trying to insinuate, huh, green name? You're the one that's bringing that shit up. Okay. Green name behavior, I swear to God, dude. Anyways. Grand Blue is going to be starting up in about less than 10 minutes. So I need to get this started. I left off at Maokai. Okay. Remind me. Because maybe we'll go through this again on Friday. Be because we're going to be collabing with Nova. We're going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with Nova. And before we do Nova, we should come back to this. So we can wrap it all up, if you know what I'm saying. You'll like Master Yi or Misfortune. Oh, I saw Misfortune already. Yeah, Misfortune was probably my favorite pick. Her and Diana. Her and Diana are probably my two favorites. All right, you guys chilling over there, chilling out in the campfire. <laughs> that always makes me laugh, you know that. <laughs> Every time you do like the Kratos chilling with like the taco, taco, <laughs> and the just whatever else, it's actually pretty good. 
It's actually pretty good. Love that. The Ayame one is a classic, though. Anyways. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and continue on raiding these uh, League of Legends characters, huh? So last time we left off with Mao Kai. Let's take a look at Mao Kai. Is this another tree like the other tree guy? Maokai. Uh-huh. Take a look at a uh, charred Maokai. Festive. I won't lie, I like this one more than the other tree guy. The other tree guy is was kind of whack. He looked creepy too. And not in the good way. Actually, I don't think there is a good way to be creepy. Maokai, you know what? It's better than the other guy. I'll give him... I'll, I'll definitely... I, he gives me Groot vibes. But not as nice or as cute. The other guy just gives me creepy... You know that one neighbor guy in Family Guy? The one that's, like, very suspicious? i give him a three. Yeah, Herbert. That's the one. The old guy. Next up is Master Yi. Oh, he's got a blade. He's a bladesman. Oh, it's a long blade, too. What do we got for outfits? Oh, he's got like a ninja blade. Chosen Master. Of course, you gotta have a samurai one. Headhunter, Project Yi. Cosmic. Oh, this one's actually badass. His face is like a, a galaxy. And then we have, of course, kind of like a Dynasty Warrior type of skin. Huh. These are actually pretty cool. I'm getting some Kenshi vibes from this guy. I don't know if I like his default, but this one is badass. I love the design of the sword. I give him... In Project L, he'd be a freaking cray, a, a great fit. I'd probably give him a three. I can see myself playing this guy. Because I like Kenshi a lot. From Mortal Kombat? Yeah, not bad. I'll give him a three. Milio? Is that a child? You guys know how I feel about children. Gentle Flame? Seems like there's a newer character. Backpack. Filled with fire. Seems like a giant jug back there or something like that. Nah. One out of five. One out of five. I don't want it. Misfortune. I already gave my rating. Misfortune is like top three characters that I would love in Project L. Holy shit. Look at this lady. Look at her. Just look at her for a second. Just... Ooh. Anyways. Five out of five. Mordekaiser. Wow, this guy looks crazy. He, he gives me King Hassan vibes. Whoa. Pentakill Mordekaiser. Lord Mordekaiser. Actually, he gives me more than that. He gives me like Astaroth vibes. He could definitely be a juggernaut type of character. Look at that shit, dude. Ooh, that one looks badass. He's literally the king of hell. Okay, so yeah, he definitely does give some Diablo vibes, you know? <laughs> king Hassan type of thing. I think this character would be pretty badass. Would I play him? Probably not, but I could see myself... Or I, I could see this character being in the game. But there's already kind of like a character in that kind of provides that role. But this one could be a little bit more of an evil, more flames, more magical rather than more bruiser you know more physical this could be a little bit more magical and stuff i give him a three out of five i like this one i like this one morgana Ooh, hello there oh this is the uh the counterpart to what's her face i can't remember her name but she was like a valkyrie type of girl more soup ult literally teleports you to one-on-one -on -one realm that's cool Kale, that's her name. Yeah, that's right. Seems like she's a mage. So she's got some zoning properties, getting projectiles left and right. Got exiled Morgana. Interesting. 
Is, is that like a chef? Chef Morgana? I kind of love that. <laughs> uh, Blackthorn. Kind of like a poison ivy type of thing. Ghost Bride. Oh, yeah. We're getting some like Lily vibes from Diablo. Yup. I'm getting some Lily vibes. There's like a Witch. Majestic Impress. Coven. Ooh, Dawnbringer looks badass. Prestige, Star Nemesis, and Snow Moon. Yeah, it seems like she's got like a uh, more of a magey, witch, magic based type of character, which I'm not like a huge fan of, to be honest with you. Like in Genshin, my least favorite archetype was the one was the book archetype where you can cast magic and casters pretty much. Not a big fan of that. Uh, I probably would give Morgana, and she's she's all right. She, I think she she looks cool. She's got some cool outfits, but personally speaking, I uh, I, I kind of would just two a two for me, two out of five. She's all right. Nafiri, that's a dog. That's a hell dog. That's that's a literal pooch that could spawn more pooches. Huh. That's a dog. So we would be getting kind of like an Okami type of thing. Or Amaterasu. I mean, I think that would be pretty cool to to actually do. Like an Amaterasu type of thing in Project L. I, they, they could do it. Definitely. Do I want a dog? Eh, you know what? I wouldn't be against it. Especially if it's like... I don't know if it's like hellhoundish, where it has like a rasp, like a, actually speaks like a human, or if it would bark. If it barks, then three out of five. If it speaks, then it's a two out of five. She has a pack that attacks with her in game. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a girl. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so like, so, so like, it's just like Ami then. Just like Ami. All right. Speaking of Nami, that's a mermaid. That's that's a mermaid. Nami was the first Maro tribe to leave the waves and venture to uh, dry land when the ancient accord Targonians. Tide collar. <laughs> yeah, that's a literal mermaid. Oh god. Damn. That's that's a Zora. We're straight up from Link like this lady's from Link. Or from from what what's it called again? Not Link. Shit. I'm blank. Zelda. Zelda. Earth the Nami tree. Deep sea. Whoa. Whew, I'm getting chills. I don't like that. Ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, I didn't like that picture. I didn't like that. Mm. Uh, anyways, they got program Nami. Splendid staff. Cosmic. Bewitching. She's cute she, and everything, but that chill really just... I don't know what it was. That picture. I can't look at that picture. Dude, that picture. I don't like that. Uh, one out of five. I don't want her in there. No, keep her away. I'm sorry. Uh, Nami lovers, I'm sorry. She's cute and everything, but I don't know. I don't like her. That from the deep picture, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. It gave me bad bad vibes. I don't like it. We got Nasus. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Talisophobia, let's go. What the hell is that? What's a talisphobia? Nasus. So this is definitely giving me like Anubis type of vibes. A jackal-headed ascended being from ancient Shurima. Yep, definitely giving me some uh, Egypt's vibes. Okay, so seems like they have a weapon. Some sort of a huge hammer. Cursing abilities and shit like that. I'm going to like a berserk type of mode. Pharaoh, okay, Nasus, Galactic Nasus, Pharaoh Nasus, Dread Knight, Riot Canine. Then you have Inferno Nasus, Archduke, which is... Oh my god, Archduke looks so sick. Oh my god, I... Okay, I, I just like this, this this character way more, just because of that costume. Jeez, that looks badass, though. Battle cast, Space Groove, don't care about that. Armored Titan, Nightbringer. Actually, this, this character's cool. I like this character. I do like the Egypt vibes. Like, I'm a huge fan of Khan Ra from Killer Instinct. And there's definitely some Egypt vibe there as well. But uh, I think this this character would be pretty cool to see in Project L. I, uh, four out of five. I'm going to be honest. Four out of five. This character's bad. Especially if you include 
the Archduke, no, uh, you know, Nasus, you know? It's awesome. Anyways, yeah, I would give him a four out of five. <laughs> Nautilus. What the hell is that? Seems like a giant big daddy from Bioshock. The Titan of the Depths. Hey, it looks like a big daddy. I don't know if I like him. Abyssal. You have Subterranean, Astronauts, Warden, Worldbreaker, Conquer, Shanghai Scrolls, Fright Night. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of that one out of five. I'm not a huge fan of this one, this guy. There's a lot of tanks in this game, and def this is definitely one of my least favorite ones. Yeah, one out of five. I don't like him. Nico. What is this? Ha hailing from the long lost tribe of Astava, Nico can bend any crowd in it. By borrowing the appearance of others. So she's a shapeshifter. Okay. Seems like she's maybe like a gecko or what is that called? It's not a gecko. What is it? Chameleon. Thank you. Chameleon. Chameleon. Okay. That's kind of a neat concept. They could be like maybe they bring a, like a Shang Tsung type of vibe to the character where you can take form as the other other character for like a brief second that'd be kind of cool uh winter wonder star guardian prestige shanghai prestige bewitching nico yeah ah you know i don't know man i mean as much as the concept would be pretty neat i'm not really digging this character personally I could see her making it in if they could if they could make an interesting character. And I could be proven wrong, but I, I don't know if I'm feeling this character for the most part. Um, I give her a two out of five. That's it. Or maybe like double from Skullgirls? I don't know. One way to find out. Nidalee. Who's Nidalee? Are you an Amazonian woman? Hello, Amazonian woman. I am Puerto Rican streamer. Raised in the deepest jungle, Nidalee is a master trickster, tracker, who can shapeshift into a ferocious cougar at will. She's a cougar. Is that right? Whoa. And she has a spear? Yo, I love spear characters. Holy shit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy. Okay. Headhunter. That's pretty cool. That's nice. I love the spear, ladies. Yup. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yep, she's looking rather nice. Kiddo, uh, you know? Okay, listen. Give me Amazonian lady. Spear. Cool ass. Spear ass moves like my Natsume. Like, make something similar. It's like my Natsume with spears. You know what I mean? And flippity floppities. Flipping everywhere, agility base, rush down, some projectile maybe. I'm maining this character day one. This is a six. I want Nidalee. Oh, a hundred percent. I want. She's just Maya from KI. No, 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 no. She's not. I understand where you're coming from with this, but you're looking at this with binoculars. All right. You need to see the bigger picture here, amigo. All right. This is not just. Maya from KI. This is Nidalee. All right. This is an Amazonian woman that has a spear. It's very fast. It can transform into a, a ferocious cougar. Okay. It's not. This is no Maya. All right. This is like if Maya did the fusion dance with both not my Natsume and Orchid. I'm just saying. Six out, of, six out of five. I want her. I want her. Put her in. Put her in, please. Neela? Who is Neela? Neela is an 
ascetic, ascetic warrior from a distant land seeking world's deadliest, most titanic opponents so that she might challenge and destroy them. Okay. She, she wants to play Shadow of the Colossus, apparently. Shadow of the Colossus, apparently. That's, that, that's kind of cool. Oh, shit. She whips people? She's like, I'm going over there. There's no get over here move. Is there? There's a... I'm coming over there. Oh, that would be badass. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would love this character in. Yes. I love whip characters that like, I love poison. Whip is, uh, whip from King of Fighters is, is meh, but I, I do like her gameplay somewhat, but I love poison. And any other characters that have like long reaching type of uh, moves that uh, can potentially like lead to like chain type of moves, like grabbing them from mid screen, kind of pulling them in, or maybe like, you know, stuff like the fairy. Thank you, fairy. Yeah, I like, I like that. I, I like Neela. I want her in five out of five. Absolutely. Oh, phone on. Yeah, phone on would be awesome. Yeah, I love phone on. Phone on so actually phone on is probably my favorite whip character. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Who else? Uh, where are we at? Nocturne? What the hell is a Nocturne? And the Eternal Nightmare. Oh, wow. Demonic amalgamation drawn from nightmares that haunt every sentient mind. Oh, wow. So this thing is scary. So it's like a phantom type of thing with some scary-ass weapons. Oh, wow. This could be a really cool-ass character. This could be a pretty neat character, depending. I'm not sure yet, but it's it's very it's like there's a they can definitely mess this up and it won't be oh, not mess it up, but it definitely can be a character that's not not for me. So I would probably give this uh, just because this could potentially be pretty good. I'd give this like a three out of five. I could see the cool shit from that though. Then we have Nunu and Willump. Oh, it's a it, that's a child. No, yeah, that yeah, that is a child and a yeti. Okay, once upon a time there was a boy who wanted to prove he was a hero by slaying a fearsome monster, only to discover that a beast, a lonely magical yeti, merely needed a friend. Oh, oh, that's 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 kind of cute. Well, that's kind of cute. All right, so we can see some sort of um. Oh, what's that character? Ferator. From Mortal Kombat, you know, kind of having some uh, hybrid type moves where he throws the kid as a projectile and then mostly controlling the Yeti for attacks and stuff like that. Ferator would be a pretty cool, like, type of archetype for this character, which is pretty neat. Is that a character archetype for me? Not necessarily, but I think it'd be pretty neat. And I think it's cute and it's wholesome. You know, look at that shit. Is that, that's cute. You know what I mean? So I would probably give this a three out of five. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, then we have Olaf. Whoa, hello there. For Valhalla! Unstoppable force of destruction. The axe-wielding Olaf wants nothing more but to die in glorious combat. Oh yeah, this guy's a Viking. Tell me he's a Viking without telling me he's a Viking. Like that, 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 that's him. This dude came straight from Vinland Saga. Never seen that show, but I know it's about Vikings. Forsaken, oh, whoa. Glacial Olaf, holy shit, dude. Penta Pentakill, oh, that's like the band, right? Marauder, Butcher Olaf, look at that, that that's a man right there. Uh, T1 uh, Olaf. Got some other designs that are pretty cool. Another Pentakill type of uh, Olaf design. All right, I like this character, especially if it's a dual wielding axe, big, big, like, like behemoth of a character. And I'm not saying like behemoth as in size, but just like strong and intimidating and forceful. That's what I mostly mean with with uh, uh, what I mean behemoth, which probably doesn't describe the character at all. But I'm using it anyway. I think this character would be sick in Project L, dude. Especially if it's like 
has an install where he's like berserked and he's just like, ah, you know, like maybe using some of his health to be able to 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 go get in there and do some damage and stuff, kind of like Berserker and DNF. Um, yeah, he's just berserking, man. It's like old, like uh, kind of like um, what's his name in um, oh god, what's his name in Melty Blood? Armor guy, grappler, intimidating. Oh god, uh, co- uh, can't remember his name. Kuma, thank you. Kind of like that, but with axes. So uh, I, yeah, I give him a four. I give him a four. Uh, four out of five. I would love to see Olaf in Project L. Oriana? Oh, Mecha Waifu? Oh, I'm not a fan of Mecha Waifus. I don't like Mecha Waifus. Robot Waifus? At least not fully robot. I don't know. I just don't like that look. Kind of like, um, what's her name? From Killer Instinct. Uh, Ari, uh, Ari, 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 something. Well, what's her name from Killer Instinct? Aria, thank you. Yes, Aria from Killer Instinct. I would think she'd be like that in a way. But maybe not because she has a ball. It doesn't look like she has different forms. But yeah, Mecha Waifus like Aria, I'm not a huge fan of. I guess they, she has a human form, but that doesn't really change anything. Um, plus she has a ball and I don't really give a shit about a ball, you know? Uh, oh, you bring up a good point actually. Minot style? Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. You could make this character like Minot. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good idea. Uh, for me though, uh, I really don't give a shit about Oriana. I would probably give her a one out of five. Yeah, uh, I don't know. We got Orn. What the hell? It's like an evil dwarf. Freyordian, spirit of forging and craftsman. Oh, he's a blacksmith. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Can sharpen his, uh, or, you know, kind of like reinforce his weapons. I could see definitely having some sort of an, inst- not install, but like, like a stock where you can, or some sort of a power up where your next hit does a lot of shit ton of damage or does something changes its property somehow. I think that'd be pretty sweet. I think this character would be pretty cool. I do. I am concerned about size though. (laughs) While he does seem large, I hope he, uh, they maintain that in, um, project L if he does come in, but you know, I think this character is pretty cool. I think the, the 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 concept of him would be cool. Three out of five. Three out of five. Pantheon, the unbreakable. Sp- Another spear character. I'm down. He kind of reminds me of like Achilles, or like Leonidas from Fate Go. Oh yeah, I could definitely see. Oh yeah, I I I, I think I would like this character a lot. Yeah, basically just a lunging strike. Yep, being able to put up the shield while stabbing and stuff like that could be a special move. Yeah, some sort of a a, a rushing or jump type of thing, like kind of like a dragoon play style. I think that would be badass. So, I yeah, I can definitely see myself playing this character a lot. Myrmidian, ruthless, Perseus. I just love spear characters, man, and definitely some sort of a, like a Greek warrior. Uh, some sort of a Spartan type of archetype with the spear and the shield. I think that would be badass. So I would give this guy a four out of five. This I, I would I would see this character in a heart. I, I would play this character in a heartbeat. Yeah, this is very cool. He's also very hot. Sounds good. <laughs> His dream is to be a baker. Yeah, I noticed from the costumes. <laughs> Poppy. That is... That is a child. Disguised as an adult. Look at how big... Yeah, I know. She's a... Yeah, whatever. She's a yordle. I just... I just don't like small characters. What can I say, bro? I'm not a huge fan of small characters. 
Unless they're on top of bigger characters. Yeah, like Charlotta and shit. Yeah. Uh, anyways. There's Poppy. Lolly Poppy. <laughs> That's a cute name. Ragdoll. Battle Regalia. Unless she's like rugged and she's seen some shit in war. Okay, I like I, I would like that version. This would be kind of cool. Just like a badass type of I don't know. I think that, that that's kind of appealing to me. Other than that, not for me. Astronaut, bewitching Poppy. She's a champion, that's for sure. I give her a one out of five. I'm just not a, not a huge fan of small characters. I'm sorry. With the exception of some, but this one definitely isn't one of them. Pike. The Blood Harper Ripper. Whoa. Blood Harper Picker. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Pike. What is it? What is he? Renowned harpooner from slaughter docks of Bilgewater. Pike should have met his debt in the belly of the gigantic jawfish, and yet he returned. So he's a harpooner, like a fisherman. So he has some water techniques, maybe. Oh, and like harpoon, it kind of like a get over here. That's actually kind of badass. Blood Moon Pike. Kind of attach his harpoon to a chain or something, and he can pull him in. That would be pretty cool as a uh, as a um, fighting game character. Dude, I would love a archetype that's like Kratos. That uses Kratos' weapons. It's like two swords attached to chains, and you can spin them around, and you can maybe attach them to things, pull them in, and stuff like that. Maybe stab them, and then punch them so they fly out, and then retract your blade. Shit like that would be so sick. And uh, I don't think this character is it, but if this is the closest thing we got, then I'll take it. But I don't know. Um, it's cool. I would like to see his archetype in the game. Three out of five. Now we got Kiana. Hello there, Kiana. Oh, you remind me of... Uh, oh my God, what's her name? Um, Tira? I think her name is from Soul Calibur. Yeah, I think it's Tira. Yeah, Tira. She has the uh, the like the hula hoop weapon, which is kind of neat. So they can definitely make this character work a hundred percent. Oh, this would be ooh, she's nice. Battle Queen, Prestige Lunar Empress. Ooh, this is a cool ass skin. Oh, I could 100% see this character being in, bro. Four out of five. I would love to see her in. I'd play her. Especially if she has cool ass moves. If she's as cool as, she, as Tira was in Soul Calibur 6, yeah, four out of five. Ah, uh, what do we got? Quinn. Quinn is the bird or the. Uh, I, I don't know. Quinn is an elite ranger knight. Okay, it's the girl. Okay, great. Of uh, Demacia, who undertakes dangerous missions deep in the enemy territory. She and her legendary eagle, Valor. Okay, their eagle's called Valor. Okay, that's that's good to know. So she'd basically be like uh, fucking Idoha. Well, well, no, not Idoha. What's her name? Mama ha ha. You know, the girl from Samurai Showdown? With the, with the bird? Look at that shit. She grows wings and shit. <laughs> Nakaruru, thank you. Okay, so Quinn has got some pretty neat skins. Nice. Oh, I like that one, by the way. The the Wold Scout. Heartseeker. Warden. This looks badass. This looks like a Diablo character. Uh, Star Guardian Quinn. I think this character could be pretty cool, man. If they give her, like... I mean, I don't know. It depends on how they, they animate this character. But if she's like... I love Hawk Girl uh, from, from, from DC... So and she wasn't Justice One. She was she sucked, but she was really fun. I would probably give this character uh, with if they make her cool. I want her to be four out of five, potentially five out of five. But if it's whatever, underwhelming and whatever, don't really use. I don't know. 
Just it's just not underwhelming. That three out of five, then whatever. Anyways, uh, Rakan. Okay, a mercurial as he is charming. Rakan is an infamous Vastayan troublemaker, and he's the greatest battle dancer in Latyan tribal history. Battle dancer? Wait, is he? Is he? Wait, is he like Naruto? Bro, he's, he's like Naruto. He's got... Interesting fire head. He's got the tail. Is that not him? Yeah, he's like Naruto. He's got the tails and shit. Those are feathers? I don't know, man. If you count, those can be like nine, nine, nine feathers. I don't know, bruv. That looked like a tail to me. Mr. Hey, tail, same shit, speak. though. How to trigger Naruto fans 101. Yeah, it's like, um... Oh, fuck. Not Narukami. What's 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 the dog's name? It's not Narukami. What's his name? Shit. No, not Amaterasu. No, the Kurama. That's that's the name. There, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, Kurama. That's the name. For some reason, I wanted to say. Um, I wanted to say. Uh, Oh, fuck. I even forgot the first one now. I want to say Konami now for some reason. I don't give a fuck. Anyways. All right. The Armadillo. Ramus. 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 Ram Is that just a turtle? What the fuck? What the hell is going on with the chat? Wait, why are you guys spamming okay? What? What's going on here? Check his voice lines? He just says okay? Oh. I didn't know there was so many League of Legends Andes in the chat. Wait a minute. There are so many of you. Is that fucking Bowser? Wow. Okay. Ninja Rob. Ha, <laughs> like a Ninja Turtle. Eh, hey, get it? Full Metal Ramos, that's pretty cool. So Chibi's gonna play this game? <laughs> yeah. Hey yo, real quick. Does Chibi play League of Legends? Well, she does now. Yes, you can play your favorite character, Chibi. <laughs> Good luck. In the queue. When you end up queuing up. Anyways, interesting character. Uh, I would fucking hate this character being Project L. I have enough with Blanca and Street Fighter. You think I want another one like him? Especially one that just says okay all the time? I don't think so. One out of five. I don't want him near Project L. Rek'Sai. The Void Borrower. Burrower. Like a mole? Is that a mole? That's a mole. Ooh, that is ugly. I don't like that. Hmm. Nah, I don't like this. Nah. Z one, zero out of five. I don't want this. No. I'm good. No. I'm good. Zero. 
The Iron Maiden. Whoa. We got a like an Artoria Lancer thing going on here. Has a steed, a big old lance. Wow. Oh shit, that'd be really weird for Project L though. Oh, what the hell? Okay, maybe not. Wait, what? She can transform the, the horse into like... Huh. Very interesting. She's literally the who of all lol. Rek'Sai was specifically designed in response to prison and the main character is so pretty. Are we talking about this character? No, we're talking about Realm. Well, I, I, I get you, I get you, I get you. Basically, Magneto, Battle Queen. This character would be pretty cool. I'd love to see this character without the horse. I think that'd be pretty cool. But I give her like a two out of five. Nah, I'll give her a one out of five. I really don't give a shit about her. With the horse, one out of five. Without the horse, two out of five. Renata Glask. The Chem Baronis. Huh. Renata Glass rose from the ashes of her childhood home, but with nothing but her name and her parents. Al alchemical research. Okay, an alchemist. She's definitely more support than anything else. She buffs people. I imagine. Yes, okay. Very interesting. Admiral Glask. Fright Knight Renata Glask. Mm. She's a drug dealer? <laughs> She'd be perfect for you stoners in the chat. She, she, she supplies the marijuana. Nice. Uh, nah, no, I, I don't want this character, like, zero out of five. I, I would not want, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Renekton, whoa, that is a cocodrilo. That is one cocodrilo. Renekton is a terrifying, rage-fueled, ascended being from the scorched deserts of Shurima. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. You know what? I'm down. It's kind of funny looking, actually. <laughs> kind of funny looking. Wait, is, is it Killer Croc and in Injustice 2? Or am I thinking... Am I going crazy? Killer Croc is not in Injustice 2, right? I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, no, I don't think so, actually. I'm thinking back, and I think I'm going crazy. But I think this would be a pretty sweet character to create. Ha, <laughs> it's like, a, oh my god. Um, oh shit. No, I, I'm thinking of something else, my bad. I'm thinking of, um, Battletoads, but this is not Battletoads. This is a crocodile. Prehistoric. I think this would be a pretty cool character to be able to do. You know, I'll give this a three out of five. I'll give Renekton a three out of five. I think this could be a pretty sweet character. But. I don't know, man. We'll see. He got gaslit to hate his brother. Who's his brother? Nasus's brother. Oh, okay. Rengar. Whoa. This guy looks like Battle Beast from uh, Invincible. Whoa. Yo, Battle Beast. Yeah, that's sick, dude. I think Battle Beast could be pretty dope. Just like Relentless, Rushdown. Very crazy. That'd be cool, man. I think uh, this character would be pretty, pretty badass to have in uh, in Project L. Three out of five. Like just badass in general. I think it'd be cool. Riven. 
Oh, we saw Riven yesterday. Yeah. Riven is sick. We did see Riven. Yeah, it's got some cool ass swords. She got some cool ass skins. I think she could work perfectly for Project L. Ooh, yeah, she could work perfectly for Project L. Yeah, I think Big Sword Waifu is always welcomed. And I would love to see some sort of like installs, maybe, that could buff up her weapon and make it big like that. And maybe even change colors with different uh, things. I don't know. I'm just thinking off the fly. I don't know shit about League of Legends, but I think it'd be badass. Yeah, Riven, I already gave her a four, five out of five, so this, this, don't, don't worry about it. She, she, she's, she's great. Uh, Rumble. Oh, I think that's a, that's a, that's a yor, Yordle inside of a robot. Kind of like Pac-Man. Yep. It's kind of like Pac-Man from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Badlands, Space Galaxy. Uh, be, I'm going to be honest with you. Zero out of five. I don't give a shit about this character. Zero. Uh, Rise. The Rune Mage. Rise. Okay. More magey type of stuff. I could definitely see kind of like an Ermac type of play style. Using uh, magical powers and telekinesis and shit. Huh, Uncle Rise. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. This kind of gives me a G type of vibe from Street Fighter V. Interesting. Professor Rise, Zombie Rise, Dark Crystal, Pirate, White Beard, Championship, Guardian of the... Oh, that's what, that's what that was. Okay. Arcana Rise. Ooh, this looks cool. Yeah, I think Rise could work pretty well, depending on how they make them. I'll give them a three out of five. This could have the potential to be really cool. He's more like JP from Street Fighter 6. Well, he doesn't have a cane. Invalid. I think it'd be cool. If he had some JP type of things. Rice could be in the game probably with less reworks. That in? Okay. Oh, well, maybe. All right, next. Samira. Oh, why, hello there. Is that a gun I see? Gun waifu? One. Oh... Oh, not just a gun, but a sword. Oh, shit. And she can spin a Reno. Stinger. Slash. What do we got here? Samira. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Uh, five out of five. I want Samira in the game ASAP, please. Eye patch waifu with guns and swords. Oh boy. Yeah, I want her in. Please give me Samira. Samira. Yeah, she's basically Dante, yeah. She's got a style meter? Hell yeah. I'm down. I'm down. Just give it to me. Give her to me. Uh, Sejuani. You writing Pumba? Writing a warthog. Um, Sejuani is the brutal, unforgiving, iceborne war mother. Whoa. War mother. Okay, she just swings a big old mace. And it extendo patronums. Dashes in with her with her pig. Oh, hello, mother. Mmm, war mommy, huh? Yup. Mm-hmm. Can I get the war mommy without the pig? Maybe have the pig be an, an ult. Or an install. Oh my god, the bear is kind of fucking sick. Oh, that's cute. No? Unmounted, I think, yeah, I think that's the way to go. Or make her a full screen projectile, sure. Yeah, make her, yeah, she could just call her in. Pig rushes in. You know, kind of like that. 
Well, you, I know you gotta have the. I'm saying for her, just just to like have her idol be unmounted, and then maybe incorporate the pig into her special moves. The the pig stays. <laughs> the pig stays during sex. That is my only. <laughs> you know that meme on. Yes, but the clothes stay on during sex. It's like no, the pig stays. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh if the pig is incorporated into her idol stance um i probably would say a three if she's unmounted and incorporates the pig throughout her special moves and shit maybe have an install where she's riding it okay four or five out of five, five out of five you know anyways next senna who is Senna? Childhood to be haunted by supernatural black mist. What is that? What is that in? What is that weapon? Huh. Whoa. Hello there. Man, this is kind of looks a lot like Kim's alternate costume in Street Fighter 6. High noon. Oh, she looks badass. Holy, so that's a rail gun? She's basically Cable from MVC2? Oh, that would be so sick. Oh, Cable type of... Uh, oh my god, they have to. They have to bring her in, dude. She can be the Cable. Five out of five. I want her. Dude, this, this, this costume right here, too. Add her in. Five out of five. I would love her and her railgun to uh, come into Project L. To be like Cable. She's Lucian's wife. I don't think they would make her playable, but maybe team up with Lucian. I don't know. But I'm saying this is a hypothetical if they're playable. I don't think like even 80% of these characters are going to make it in. That'd be insane if they did, though. <gasps> okay. Then you have Seraphine. Is this just a idol? Huh. Different monsters. It's just an idol. KDA Seraphine. This is a cool ass costume though. Prestige Ocean Song, Fairy Court, Star Guardian, Seri Seraphine. I don't want her in. Zero out of five. I can already see the reveal trailer. Some sort of a live stream, some sort of a content creator reference. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to buy my tickets. Keep her out. I'm sick and tired of the live stream references, live streamer references in my fighting games. I've had enough with Julia and Rashid. I don't want any more. The boss. Set. This guy looks cool. Leader of Ionia's growing criminal underworld. Ooh, he's a bad boy. Is he a brawler? Oh, you can this kid this guy could be like Yashiro. Oh yeah, dude. Look at that. Just a brawler. Kind of be like Yashiro from King of Fighters. Look at that. Pool party. Look at those abs. Look at the hotness. Oh, what's up, fan? Look at the hotness. Firecracker. Spirit Blossom. Look at that shit. Very hot. His ult is a dunk. <laughs> Yo, that'd be fucking sick. Okay. Yeah, I would like set four out of five. I think this character would be badass. That'd be that that that'd be badass. Uh yeah, put him in. Shaco. Alright, first impressions. I don't like what I'm seeing. 
Crafted long ago in the plaything for a lonely prince, the enchanted marionette Shako now delights in murder and mayhem. Huh. Hmm. Seems like all of you share the same sentiments where it's like you gave bad bad vibes and you don't like them. Nutcracker. I don't like them. I don't like them. Who likes clowns? Twitter. It's ran by one. I don't like them. I give them a one out of five. One out of five. Yeah, nah, I don't like them. Yeah, not a, not, not a fan. One out of five. Keep them out. You mean X? I spared you. I was this close to banning you. I spared you. I was nice. I was this close. Next time someone actually says that, I'm going to ban though. All right. What do we have? Shen. This is a ninja? Ninja. Interesting. Shen. Oh, I could definitely see like a Genji type of. Oh, yeah. Oh, this character's kind of sick. Ooh, kind of some astral swords there. Yeah, some sort of. Uh, also, um, Ryu from uh, Ninja Ninja Gaiden. Ryu Hayabusa. Oh, yeah. This character would be sick to have in the game. If you have, like, a traditional, like, kind of like Kunoichi from DNF, but with a more sword-oriented playstyle, that would be sick, dude. Four out of five. I would love to have Shen in the game and to see how they actually play. You mean he's a tank? Oh, so he's not agile or fast? He's a tank. He's beefy. Dude, that would be even more sick, dude. A heavy hitting, beefy ninja? That would be even cooler. Kind of like a bruiser ninja. That would be even cooler, to be honest with you. I'm kind of sick of fast, agile ninjas. Give me a big bruiser ninja. That'd be cool. Yeah, four out of five. Absolutely. Shivana. Half dragon? Dragon Marvel. Shivana is a creature with the magic of rune shard burning within her heart. She appears humanoid but can take on the Mr. form of Strummer, a fearsome I'm going dragon. To speak. I appreciate the non bank No problem. No problem. Just so you know. Just so you know. You would have had to and you would have had to give me a good ass essay in the unban request. All right? It wouldn't have been like an immediate unban. You would have had to give me a good good request. Make me laugh, make me smile, whatever it is. You got to be, you have to be real good. None of that. I didn't know there was a rule that you said no, you have to be, make a good ass rule. You got to make a good ass unban request. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. I have no no, no worries though. <laughs> Oh, shit. Hmm. Real talk. 
you make this character hit hard and have some sick ass sound effects and make it seem like she's actually hurting them hard I'm, I'm main in this character just like actual impact to her moves you know five out of five I, 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 I want this character bad. This character would be so sick. Five out of five. Singed. What the hell is a singed? The mad chemist. Oh, this is the doctor from Arcane. This guy. Riot Squad singed. Hextech. It's locked skinnier. Mad scientist. Augmented. That's like Bane. Oh, that's kind of cool. Snow Day. Black Scourge. Beekeeper. Resistance. Astronaut. Whoa. Interesting type character. Uh, not for me, though. I'd probably give him a 1 out of 5. I, I don't know. It's. I could see some type of... Uh, what's his name? Um type of poison type of character like fang some mechanics like that but i i'm not into that stuff dude i give him a one out of five yeah damage over to yeah, exactly like kind of like fang nah i'm good one out of five scion or Sion, the undead juggernaut oh this guy is like astaroth a war hero for the bygone era he's just a juggernaut with a big old axe. Literally Juggernaut. Like, literally. Juggernaut, but with an axe. Seems like an ogre. Big old berserker. Slow play style. Kind of like maybe Abigail. Like Juggernaut from Marvel. Not my type of character. One out of five. There's some other bruiser... Oh, I'm sorry. Other berserker, juggernaut type characters that would be way cooler than Scion, personally. Severe. The Battle Mistress? Whoa, what weapon is that? Is that like a giant shuriken from, like, like, like Yuffie? From Final Fantasy? Sev is a renowned fortune hunter mercenary captain who plies her trade in desert in Shurima. Like a shuriken. Yeah. It's a giant shuriken. Huh. I can just throw the shuriken. I think this character would be pretty cool, actually. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, hello there, lady. Hmm. Oh, boy. That is a wonder woman. That is a wondrous woman right there. Mm hmm Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Bandit? That looks pretty bad. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, that looks awesome, too. Jesus, all these look great. Neo... Pizza delivery. <laughs> I got a hair come here, come here to deliver the pizza. Wow. Odyssey, Cafe Cuties, Solar Eclipse, Myth Maker, and Prestige Myth Maker. Dude, pizza delivery would be badass. Dude, she's got incredible skins. Oh man. Oh yeah. That's my favorite right there. Uh, five out of five. I would love to see a giant shuriken type character be in Project L. Woo-wee! Now we have Skarner. That looks like a Pokemon. Skarner is the immense crystalline scorpion from a hidden valley in Shurima. Yeah, that's, that's just a giant scorpion. That's just a uh, bug. That's a giant bug. Uh, zero out of five. I don't want him in Project L. I'm not a big fan of that shit. Then we have Sona. Mm -hmm. Sona is the Damasius foremost virtuoso of stringed et wall, speaking only through their graceful chords and vibrant areas. She plays music. Imagine she's support. Yep. 
I don't know how she would work in Project L. But I must say, I definitely must say, that design is quite nice. Yes. Quite, quite nice. Very cool design. Very neat. However, do I get any fighting game feel uh, vibes from her? No, I'd probably give her a two. A two. If they could surprise, but I don't think so. I'd give her a two out of five. It's fine. Yeah, I'm good. Then we have Soraka. Who is that? Wanderer from the celestial dimensions beyond Mount Targon. She's got like a moon staff. Oh, she could summon meteors from the sky. That'd be kind of a neat mechanic. She can heal. Dryad. Divine. Celestine. Reaper. Order. Program. Star Guardian. It's like a Sailor Moon type of thing, huh? Uh, Winter Wonder. Dawnbringer. Nightbringer. Night, uh, Prestige. Star Guardian. The Cutie. And Spare Blossom. Uh, this is one of those characters that, while she has a cool design, I'm not a huge fan of, like, Meiji type of characters, and I feel like that's what she would be. And, I don't know, that staff could be pretty neat, depending on, like, how she fires off projectiles, if she even has any. Um, the only one I've seen is the Meteor, but if she has, like, moon-shaped projectiles, I think that'd be pretty sick. But, I give her a two. I give her a two out of five. Next, we have Swain. Who are you? What kind of a down... Young Count Dooku ass motherfucker are you? Oh, you got are like Dracula, huh? You got some. Oh shit! Look at that. Definitely getting some Count Dracula, Vesper Noir type vibes to this shit. Dragon Master. This character could be pretty cool. You know what he could... Oh, look at that. Look how handsome that is. You know what he could kind of remind me of? He could. He kind of reminds me of... Not in terms of gameplay, but in terms of, like, look. It may look, like, kind of ordinary, but, like, he could be pretty unique and creative when it comes to his uh, moves and stuff. Because he has a coat, right? And he hides, like, his powers underneath his coat. Kind of reminds me of that character in Melty Blood. The one that has... Um, a bunch of animals like coming out of him like shadow or animals i can't remember his name but i think would be really cool to see him be like a very intimidating like vlov count dracula chaos type of uh character you know like nero K yeah exactly nero chaos stuff like that i think it'd be sweet man uh, I'd give him a... I'd give him a 4 out of 5. I could definitely see myself playing that character. Next. Silas. The Unshackled. He's got gauntlets. And chains. Oh! Oh, shit. He's using chains? Oh! Brawler. Fisticuffs with chains oh he's like fresh lord i like that okay that would be cool yeah some chains at the ends you could use those for like kind of like not necessary i don't know if i would consider him like a zoner similarly to like Conra. But I could definitely consider being like a mid-range type of character. Like his his normals are kind of just heavier than normal and longer than normal. But not necessarily in like a zoner type of way, you know? I think that'd be badass, dude. I could definitely see, de depending on how he is, his gameplay and his special moves could be, four out of five for sure. 
Mid range would be his place. Yeah, exactly. Um, Syndra. Hello there, Syndra. Uh huh. Syndra is a fearsome Ionian mage with the incredible power at her command. Oh shit, she's got like Ouroboros and shit. Oh wow. Have an orb spinning around her. Kind of like Rose from Street Fighter 5 and 4. And she's got all sorts of different, like. Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, balls. <laughs> so many balls. She could basically definitely be like a set play type of character, similarly to like Venom in Guilty Gear. And maybe even have some projectile zoning capabilities too, where she can fire off projectiles out of her balls. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> just a car Syndra, Atlantean Syndra, Queen of Diamonds Syndra. She does have a cool ass design too. Pool party, withered rose, bewitching Syndra. Oh, that's a cool ass costume. Yeah, I could definitely see that being uh, her being in the game. And she's got a cool ass design too. Three out of five for sure. What in the hell, Tom Kench? Tom Kench, known by many names throughout history, the demon Tom Kench travels the waterways of Runeterra. He's a fish. He's a fat fish. <laughs> and he can dive underwater and shit, like Bugs Bunny and multiverses. Shit, dude. Oh, he's a chef. Earth. Coin Emperor. Arcana. High Noon. Shanghai Scrolls. He would be a grappler? I could see that, too. I could see that being... You know what I also would possibly see? Like, he could use his tides and, like, dive down and kind of, like, have, like, a predetermined place where he shows up, and that's a grab. And you have to, like, jump out of the way, because if not, then he, like... He grab Like, he you have to, like, backdash or jump backwards because he, like, comes up and he can grab you. That would be kind of cool. I don't know. This character could be kind of cool. Uh, two out of five. You know, like a teleport grab. Yeah, exactly. I think it'd be kind of badass. Two out of five. Talks like a redneck. Okay, three out of five, maybe. <laughs> three out of five. He definitely would be the funny character. Like, goofy. Like a character that Donkey would play. You know, from uh, video game Donkey, I could definitely. Mister Strummer, sure. I'm going to speak. Also, the more you eat, you the slower you get until he stuns you. Oh, that would suck. All right, Talia. Talia, Stone Weaver, nomadic mage from Shurima. A stone, like an Earthbender. She's like Toph from Avatar. But not blind. Oh, that's kind of cool. Talia, Frigid, SSG, Pool Party, Star Guard. I think this would be a pretty cool character, to be honest with. Like an Earthbender type character. Like very Earth oriented. Kind of like, um, what's his face? From Mortal Kombat. Earth Ninja. Tremor. Like Tremor. Uh, I love Tremor, by the way. I think Tremor is such a badass character. I was a huge fan of his sound effects. I was a huge fan of his strings, his combos, his crystalline variants, where it's more a little bit more set play and stuff with his projectile. I think it's cool, man. That's awesome. Absolutely. I would love Talia in there. Four out of five. If she can actually pull off like a really sick ass Tremor style gameplay. Yeah, I would definitely be there. But uh, maybe not Tremor. <sighs> Dude, I can't have another Tremor. Tremor was like my favorite Mortal Kombat X character. I can't have another Tremor, but three out of five, actually. You know, 
Isn't in there an Earth character in the mobile uh, Blaze Blue game? I have no idea, actually. I don't think I remember anybody like that, but. Anyways, uh, yeah, three out of five, actually. Talia. Talon. The Blade Shadow Talon. Talon is the knife of the darkness. The merciless killer is able to strike without warning and escape before alarming an alarm is raised. So he's an assassin. Yeah, this guy's Ezio Auditore. He's Ezio. Yeah, yeah, Ezio, exactly. We're thinking the same, chat. Yeah, he's like more agile, a little bit more. Can turn invisible. He has some knives. He's got some shit up his sleeves. Crimson Elite. Dragon Blade. SSW. Blood Moon. I think this could be a pretty sick character, actually. Ezio was a really fun-ass character in Soul Calibur V. But I don't think they did him justice. I don't know. I mean, it was cool and all, but I feel like they could do that archetype a lot better. So... Max lost, and we saw the Dragon Blade skin. Which one's the Dragon Blade skin again? I don't think I remember. Oh, it's because it's Strider, pretty much? <laughs> it's Strider, that's why. No wonder. That makes sense. Dude, uh, dude, this character could be fucking sick if they do him right. I'll give him a 4 out of 5. Give him a 4 out of 5. It's just Strider. Yeah. Cag from Grand Blue. Oh, you mean Grand Blue? Yeah, 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 yeah. Grand Blue. Yeah, she's a what is it? Alchemist. And yeah, she does have some earth elements where she can make a like a clone. And she can also make, you know, just like golems and shit like that. So yeah, kinda like but I don't I don't think it's the same though. Earthbender and a, a earth out or like an alchemist type of thing. I don't think it's the same. But yeah. Anyways, four out of five for Talon, for sure. I would love to have, like, an assassin Ezio Auditore type of, type of character. That's done right. Tarek. Tarek. Tarek is the aspect of the Protector, wielding incredible power of Runeterra's Guardian of Life. Okay. Starlight's Touch. Okay. Seems like he's a support. Yeah, he is. Support character, huh? Sweet. Uh-huh. All right, all right. We got Tarek. We got Emerald Tarek. He's like, he gives off that. Oh, shit. Oh, we're, oh, 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 we're, we're, we're priging. We're, we're, Mr. Strummer, oh, we're gauging this. Oh, Gems are truly, truly, truly outrageous. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, he's got that smolder. You know, the that smolder look. Like <laughs> that, that's, that's a smolder. Absolutely gauge. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotcha. He's the Shrek Prince. Prince Charming? <laughs> but better. He's got Giga Chat vibes. Look at Smolder, bro. He's got a gauge skin. Oh, yeah? Is it this one? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Tarek. Support. I don't know what kind of character he would be like this would be very original uh, maybe there's other characters that i'm not thinking about but i can't really see like any sort of um thing so they would have to make something pretty original for this character for sure do i want him though i don't know probably not you know i'm a big fan of like other style of characters so i'll probably give him a two out of five However, if he shows up as, like, my, my fighting game guide in the tutorial and he just, you know, whispers sweets nothing into my... Whispers sweet nothings into my ears. Okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> All right, Timo. Another Yordle. Most dangerous and threatening obstacles. Scouts the world with boundless enthusiasm and cheerless spirit. Uh, What? Blow darts, huh? A zoner? Toxic shock? Poison? Oh my god. Trap-based character? Zoner? I could see this, this guy being a zoner. Damage over time. Toxic blow darts. Bro, he's a zoning ra rocket raccoon. Oh my god. 
He's a zoning rocket raccoon with AOE damage or um DOT damage. Wow. That sounds toxic as fuck. I can already see from the reaction everyone's getting that people hate this character. This seems like the character that is probably responsible for the toxicity of the League of Legends uh, community. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. It is toxic. He uses poison. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this is the character that plagues the entire community. Wow. Cottontail, Super Teemo, Omega Squad, Little Devil. <laughs> Look at that shit, dude. He just looks like a shithead. Bemo, Spirit Blossom, Firecracker, and Space Groove. Small stature, zoning capabilities, poison damage over time, and traps. And movement to get away from you and be slippery. I don't know how to rate this. Because I feel like this character would probably ruin Project L. Everything that people think would be bad in a MOBA game about this character would be even worse in a fighting game. You know what? Fuck this character. No, 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 no. The FGC is toxic enough as it is. And we don't need any more toxicity. So you know what? Fuck this character. Yeah, you just get a zero out of, uh, out of five. We're good. We're fine. At the very least, Neko Arc is fun and funny. There's nothing funny about this little shithead. Thresh. Whoa. I think we saw him yesterday, right? Yeah, with the chains. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Yeah, we saw him yesterday. You, I gave him a, what, what did I give guaranteed. him? A three or a five or four? Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Yes, there is. It's funny when he gets punted. <laughs> Wait, he's a hundred percent guaranteed? What do you mean? What does that mean? What makes you say that? Yeah, I think we gave him a three or a four. One of those two. But the more I look at him and the more he's like, uh... Timo is a lol staple. He's a mascot. Eh, he could be in the main menu screen. Eh, what the fuck? A playable character, though. I don't think so. Yeah, I think, uh... I think this character, yeah, I gave him, I think, a three, but I want to bump it up. If I didn't give him a four, I want to bump it up to a four because I think this character would be fucking dope. Just looking at how the chains work and shit like that and the character design is fucking badass. I think you can may possibly even... Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Also, Frisch got a redesign recently. That's his old artwork. Okay, what's the new one then? Uh, I could see, like, some sort of, like, a zoning rushdown, which is, like, kind of like Glacius. Glacius, dude, like a uh, another version of Glacius. It'd be sweet, man. Yeah, like Thresh combos would be badass. Urian walls, I don't know about that. Um, I have no idea what his new redesign is, but I'll give him a four out of five. Ooh, we still got a few more. Okay, crowd control support, huh? So I like the skeleton of skin as a human design. Cool. All right, here we go. Let's see this. Tristana, another Yordle. This is New Thresh. Oh, he looks like a necromancer from... Um, I kind of like his old design. I won't lie. I kind of like the Dormammu-ish type of design from the old, old school. I don't know. I would, I would love it to be his old design. Anyways, Tristana, Yordle Gunner. So she's just like a tiny little shit with a gun. And she uses the gun with all for all sorts of things. Including to teleport herself 
over to the opponent, I guess. Or whatever, cannon, gun, noob tube. Whatever you want to say, dude. Interesting character. Hmm. I don't I don't like this archetype because I don't see any sort of like I see more of the weapon being used rather than like you wouldn't be like these type of characters like the smaller stature characters you can hardly see a lot of animation or movement from them because they're so small you can't really have you don't have a lot of room to be able to make good animations and shit right um so I don't think it'd be my ideal type of play style however I would like to see how they would do Tristana in Tristana <laughs> Tostada <laughs> Tostada in <laughs> Tostada in uh, Project though. I think it'd be cool. I give it a three out of five. Three out of five. What do we got? Trundle. Trundle. Trondo is a hulking, devious troll with a particularly vicious streak. And nothing he cannot bludge and there's nothing he cannot bludgeon into a submission. Oh shit, got a big old thing that just bonks you, huh? Bonk bonk. Bonk bonk. Big old earthquake type of thing. Big old behemoth type of guy. Can summon uh, crystal shards from the ground. Interesting. I could definitely see some sort of a uh, Agonos type of place though, which we already kind of saw somebody that's like Agonos, but like with the summoning of walls and stuff, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Just something like a crystal wall and shit, uh, which is pretty cool. But a troll type of character, big old guy. I don't know if I would uh, like Trundle, but I would definitely like to see how they would do it because they have that wall mechanic. That would be cool. Uh, I would give them a two out of five. A two out of five. Next. Trindamir. Whoa. Hello there. Fueled by unbridled fury and rage, Trindamir once carved his way through the Fre Lord, openly challenging the greatest warrior of the north to prepare himself for even darker days ahead. Wow. Big ol' sword. I imagine Onga Bonga. I swing my sword, kind of like Siegfried in Soul Calibur and in Grand Blue. Just big old sword, sword guy swinging his shit around and being ignorant as fuck. Install? Undying Rage. He becomes so strong, he's unable to die. Whirlwind? Like a whirlwind barbarian, dude. Holy shit, that'd be crazy to incorporate into a fighting game thing. Interesting. All right. Just the sword swipes, just being ignorant. Okay, cool. You know what? It'd be kind of cool to see that in the project, though. Three out of five. Twisted Fate. Oh, is this Gambit? Twisted Fate is an infamous card sharp and a swindler has gambled his charms his way across the known world. Yo, is this just fucking Gambit? Oh my god, yes! Kind of like, um, uh, what's his name from King of Fighters? Like, uh, Oscar? O or Oswald? No, I think it's Oswald. Oswald or Oscar? I don't remember. I think it's Oswald, though. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god, he has so many... So many skins. Look at that. High noon. Musketeer. Oh my god, the musketeer one looks sick. Cod Purse, uh, Blood Moon, Odyssey Twisted. Oh, there are some sick ass skins. Bro, absolutely. Oh, dude, five out of five. Give me this fucking guy. Give me this guy, dude. I want to be a card shark. And I want to flick cards at people. I want to incorporate card mechanics and card. Like, uh, using cards as weapons. Like, if it was, like, an ideal weapon, cards would be my first pick. Oh, my God, dude. Like, Gambit? Oh, I love that shit, dude. Uh, yeah, five out of five. Give me... Give me Twisted Fate. Give me the TF! That'd be sick. Five out of five, for sure. All right! We got...
He looks naked. And one of the ancient Darken, Varus, was a deadly killer who loved to torment his foes. Bow and arrow character? Oh. Oh, shit. Gay archer trio missed his lore. What do you want with his lore? Um, driving them almost to insanity before delivering the killing arrow. He was imprisoned at the end of the dark and war escape. Yeah, whatever. Whoa. Bro, I'd be so down to play this, this guy, dude. I love like, the Cupid. <laughs> Cute. Very nice. I love bow and arrow characters. We already saw the bow and arrow character. Uh, what's her name? I can't remember her name, but I think it'd be really cool to have him then too. Ash, thank you. Very interesting. Maybe incorporating a little bit more dark elements, more magic and stuff like that than uh, Ash. Uh, yeah, Varus, I would give him a three out of five. I prefer Ash over Varus, but Varus wouldn't be a bad, bad pick either. All right, anyways, uh, I was going to take a, a break really quick. Let me take a break until, and then we're going to have well, the last stretch of characters, and then we'll, we'll be pretty much done. I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out and stuff like that, but let me take a break. I'll be right back. Give me just one second. Um, take a five-minute rendezvous back in five minutes. I am going to be playing another ad, so if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, I suggest you do so. I would really appreciate it. It will support the channel, get it lots of cool emotes, and you don't get to see the ad. But in the meantime, you're going to see the ad. And you're going to support the channel with your time, which I really appreciate. If you don't see it, then you're the chosen one. Congratulations. Anyways, I'll be right back. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's continue on. This uh, last stretch of characters. Let's take a look at all of them. Rate them and all that good jazz. You know what I mean? <clears throat> all right. Twitch. Is that a rat? Zonite Plague rats by birth uh i don't like them i already that is a rat very ugly rat pit pocket oh that's kind of cute though with the little uh little, little, little uh, mask and and the hat and shit that guy looks like Stuart Little. That's Stuart Little. That's Stuart Little. Dragon Slayer. Stop, dude. No rat can be a Dragon Slayer. Zero out of out of five. I don't want Twitch near my game. Please don't. Whoa, this Mr. Strummer, I'm going crazy. to speak. If a live streamer means Twitch, I guess they'd be a Twitch streamer, huh? Kappa. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, puns. Ha ha ha. Oh, yes, yes, puns, yes, quite funny, quite, yes. Udir, the most powerful spirit walker alive, Udir communes with all the spirits of the Fresh Lord, whether it's empathetically understanding their needs or by channeling and transforming the ethereal energy into his own primal fighting style. Whoa. He's just a big old guy that transforms spirit energy into power? That's kind of cool. <clears throat> That's kind of sick. Oh, dear. Look at that. A little bit more fit. Oh, man. You can, it could be like Coom from uh, Guilty Gear, right? Of course, without the robot part. But gameplay wise, it could be very similar to Coom. Coom Heyoon. Yeah. Kind of have a little bit more martial artsy type of stuff and uh, have kind of like uh, charged up special moves that wall bounce or that ground bounce or stuff like that. <laughs> yes, Kum Heyoon. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not trying. Oh, my fucking God. For those of you that don't know, this is Kum Heyoon. That's a robot and inside the robot is the actual character but it's a it, that, that's but it's a martial arts type of character that you know what i mean like for those of you that don't know that's kum Yoon from guilty gear anyways 
Primal Udir. Spirit Guard, definitely not Udir. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Mr. Strummer, Dragon I'm going Oracle. To speak. Come and, and I can <laughs> Fucking degenerate. Anyways. Anyways, Udir, I think this would be a badass character. I'd play this character in a heartbeat too. Four out of five. This would be a really cool one to have in Project L. Hell yeah, do kind of like a big, uh, big uh, martial artist. Be cool. Different installs, maybe different stances. All right, Urgot looks like Bane. Once powerful Noxian headsman, Urgot was betrayed by the Empire, for which he had killed so many. Okay. Oh, he's a spider. Ooh. Spider legs. Oh, I hate that. Reminds me of uh, the guy from Monsters Inc. You know what? Better yet, remember the main villain from Wild Wild West? Ugh. Has no bottom. It's just like spider legs on the bottom and shit. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like him. Mm -mm. I don't like him. No matter how cute he may seem here. I don't like him. One out of five. One out of five. I don't like him. Varus, we already got that. Uh, Vayne. Did we already see Vayne or maybe not? Vayne is a deadly, remorseless, Demesian monster hunter. She has dedicated her life into finding and destroying the demon that murdered her family. Did we see Vayne? It's like a crossbow. Oh, ho, ho. okay. No, yeah, we definitely have not seen Vayne. Vindicator Vayne looks very nerdy. I love it. Bayonetta-esque. Dragon Slayer. That one looks badass. Heartseeker looks hot. T1. Oh, that's a cool... That's a cool one. I like that one. Project Vayne. Firecracker Vayne. Spirit Blossom. Sentinel Vayne. I think we did see her. I know we saw her yesterday, and I think I gave her a 5 out of 5 because she looks fucking dope. She's got like a crossbow guns type of uh, vibe going, kind of like Ranger maybe. But maybe with a single single pistol and with a bow and arrow, crossbow type of girl. I think she'd be sweet, man. If we did it, yeah, 5 out of 5. Vagar. Tiny master of evil? Enthusiastic master of dark sorcery. The tiny master of evil! I am the tiny master of evil! Fear me! Looks like uh, the black mage from Final Fantasy. Trying to cosplay other things, huh? <laughs> like Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. Elderwood Velgar. Astronaut Vagar. Monster Tamer Vagar. That's pretty cute. You know what? I've seen I've seen worse short characters. And I think this character would be pretty interesting, nonetheless, uh, compared to the other ones that I've seen. Good leads is some pretty cool stuff. However, I overall I just still hate small characters. Uh, so two out two out of five. <clears throat> uh, what link is that? Wait, what is going on? What is this? I was swallow your soul, even. De Trembles in my presence. <laughs> you ain't intimidating nobody with that voice. Even, yeah, I kind of. Oh, are you saying that it, it's very similar to what I did? The master of evil. I will swallow your soul. <laughs> My name is Vega. 
I will demolish you with my power. <laughs> Anyways, two out of five. Two out of five. I don't really care for, for small ones. <laughs> uh, Coefficient Vagar skin. No, out of all the characters you want me to be, Vagar's the one that you choose? No, dude. Give me a sick one like Udir. I'm Udir. I like to punch things. Mm. <laughs> Velkaz. What is this? Is that just what the? Is that Shumagorath? Unclear Vel, uh, Velkaz was the first void spawn to emerge of Runeterra. But there has never been a certain. There's never. Uh, there has certainly. Oh my god, I can't read. But there has certainly never been another match his level of cool, calculated sentience. That's fucking Shuma Garath. With three tentacles. Uh-uh, fuck that. No. I have a feeling that this character is going to make it in, and I don't want him. Zero out of five. No, leave him out. Leave him out. I don't want him. I don't want him. The Gloomest Vex. Huh. In the black heart of the Shadow Isles, a long yordle trudges through the spectral fog, content with its murky misery. Huh. So she's, she's just depressed. She's like, oh, uh, yeah. So she's like Raven. She's, she's fucking Raven. From Teen Titans, but shorter. Four out of five. She just looks so over it. <laughs> out of all the short characters, this is the one that should make it in. This is the one, and she would fucking hate it, and I want that. She's like, oh shit, I gotta get in here, fine, I gotta fight you guys, fuck this, this is awful, I wanna kill myself. God damn it, I'm so fucking bored, this is the worst thing ever. There's no, there's no medication that can satiate her depression, that's for damn sure. And I want her, four out of five. Alright, Vi, we already talked about Vi. Vi is sick, dude. Four out of five. I mean, the gauntlets, they're working. She's working it, man. Vi, we already w w looked at her yesterday. Four out of five for sure. <clears throat> Viego. Oh, he looks very booby. Very Sea Dog VA. Once ruler of a long lost kingdom, Viego perished over a thousand years ago when his attempt to bring this, his wife back from the dead triggered the magical catastrophe known as the Ruination. All right. Oh my, that is a ginormous sword. Sephiroth? Short hair Sephiroth? Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, just having like a very deep. Uh, Hello there, I am Viego, and this is my sword, and I shall plunge my sword in your stomach. Something like that, you know? Very antagonist energy. But sexy. But sexy. Sexy antagonist energy. Alright. Victor. The Machine Herald. Victor. Wait, is this? Wait. Is this? Herald of New Age Technology. Victor has devoted his life to the advancement of humankind. Any idealistic seeks to lift the people to Zon on a new level of understanding he believes the only... Oh, so this is Victor. So the cripple is this guy? This is the, this is the cripple from Arcane. No shot. Where is he at? Wow, he doesn't have an arcane skin. I guess that's a good thing because he looks badass right now. 
Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens to Victor in season two, maybe? I don't know. Maybe in season two. I always thought Victor was going to be um, Dr. Mundo. I guess not. I was, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't really remember how that conversation came up. But either way, he looks pretty cool, man. I'm getting some, like, um, Cabal vibes. And I love Cabal. Cabal is really cool. I don't know about that hand coming out. That third hand, I don't know about that, amigo. But it could be pretty cool for gameplay purposes. I have, like, a projectile coming out of the hand. Or maybe, like, a command grab. Uh, maybe even, like... Kind of like, um, what's it called? Bedman, where it shoots out, like, a, a projectile in front of it. Kind of lingers. Kind of like set play type of stuff. I don't know. It could be... There's a lot of different applications for that. But I think, uh, you know, Cabal is a really cool character. And I don't know... I like Cabal because of his hook swords. He doesn't really have a, 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 a weapon that I really like. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe, like, an, elect an electric mace is kind of cool, too. So, I would give him... I give Victor a, a 3 out of 5. Depending on how he... It could be an easy 4 out of 5, but it just depends on how they, they, they do Victor. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it all depends. Yeah, he's got lasers and shit. Projectiles. Yeah, obviously. Oh, traps and stuff like that. Some set play. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see some stuff. But 3 out of 5, I think, is a good, a good, good rating for me, at the very least. So... All right, next is Vladimir. Oh, he looks like he's having a great old time with that blood orb in front of him. The Crimson Reaper. He's a vampire, it seems like. Um, a fiend with a thirst of mortal blood, Vladimir's influenced the affairs of Noxus since the Empire's earliest days. Uh, his earliest days. So this is Dracula, huh? Oh, yes, the, the, the hemoglobin vampire, yes. I am thou. Is the camera stuttering? So, I think my whole computer is stuttering. I think my whole computer is stuttering. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, it's not not the capture, but like my actual like feed was stuttering. Hmm. Weird. It stopped now, so we're good. We're good. Take it out back. <laughs> it's time for you to go. <laughs> you're not. You're no longer. You're no longer <laughs> working. I'm sorry. I gotta do this to you. <clears throat> Take it out back. Yeah, see, it's happening again. I wonder if it's something with, um... Hmm. I wonder what it is. Check CPU usage? Yeah, I might have to. Marie? Holy shit. Why is Opera GX taking up so much memory? Lots of tabs. I don't have a lot of tabs, though. Let me do something here.
Huh. Yeah, that's freaking weird. <laughs> Steam. There's a couple of things, actually. Let me end a few tasks here. Huh. Let me end a few tasks. Yeah, we're good. Okay. That's good enough. Okay. Well, that was strange. Interesting. All right, well, let's continue on. Let me see if I can um, resume music. Give up now! What the fuck? What? Does this look like chill video game music to you? What? Even now, your loved ones suffer! I can see the fear in your- Does that look like chill video game music part two to you? What the fuck? Refresh. All right, there we go. What the hell? That was weird. What? <laughs> that was weird as hell, dude. <laughs> Just randomly comes back out. <laughs> Pop a surprise, motherfucker. I'm back. All right, then. Whatever. All right. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Thought you took up ventriloquism for a second. <laughs> ventriloquism, huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not it at all. Anyways, all right, let's get back. Hopefully that, that kind of fixed it. We restarted off for GX. Weird. All right, what do we got? Vladimir. Let's see his uh, his outfits. Count Vladimir. Yep, very much. Ooh, seductive. All right. Nosferatu. Oh, God. Forgot Nosferatu was like the original vampire, pretty much. Vandal Vladimir. Blood Lord Vladimir, Soul Eater, Academy, Dark Waters, Nightbringer, Cosmic, Cafe Cuties. Look at him looking all dapper. Vladimir, interesting type of uh, character here. Taking a look, goes underground into a pool of blood. Very weird magey type of shit that revo re revolves around blood. The only blood characters I can really think about is like... Characters like Berserker, um, Carmine, Scarlet. I think Scarlet would be pretty perfect. Yeah, exactly. Scarlet would be pretty good. Scarlet's perfect. I think it'd be very similar to Scarlet. Um, do I want that? No. The only reason I really like Scarlet is because I think she's pretty. So uh, I give them a two out of five. If Vladimir was a waifu, though, I'd probably think differently. I'd probably think uh, differently. Differently. He's morbid out. Oh, God. Here we go. With this bullshit again. Vola Bear. That is... That is... That's a furry. To those who will revere him, the Voli Bear is the storm that made manifest destructive, wild, and stubbornly resolute. He exited before mortals walked to Fresh Lord's Tundra. Wow. It's 
Just a giant buff ass thunder bear. This is like a druid. Not a furry, just straight up a bear? Bro. I don't think so. I think this, if, if you look for a bear furry, an Arctic bear furry, they look like this. Yeah, so I think, yeah, he looks like the druid from Diablo 4. It's kind of cool, to be honest with you. I'm down with that. I'm down with it. I think he's a cool-ass character. Especially when he calls lightning and shit. And does cool shit like that. I could definitely see a really cool... What the fuck? <laughs> what? El Rayo! Oh my god, really? Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. Prestige, Ink Shot. Oh, it's like a tiger this time. Wow. Yeah, I think, to be honest with you... I, I, I would be down with getting this character in Project L because, you know, calling down thunder and shit, being super cool and kind of buff. Three out of five. Three out of five. Polar Bear's good. Warwick. That is, that looks like a vicious wolf. Warwick is a monster who hunts gray alleys of Zaun. Transforming by agonizing experiments. His body is fused with intricate system of chambers and pumps. Mr. Strummer, like I'm going Bane? to speak. But why the Kuma slash Panda hate then smash? Why the Kuma Panda? Because they're just a bear. Not a thunder bear. Or a buff thunder bear. Alright? That's just a fucking bear. And I don't like them. Anyways. He's just saying... Dude, I was thinking the exact same thing. He's basically Sab um, Saber Wolf. From Killer... Oh, no. Sa you said Saber Tooth? No, Saber Wolf. From, um, from uh, Killer Instinct. I was about to say the same thing. This is basically just Saber Wolf. That is adorable. Holy shit. I can't think of any other word to say but Saber Wolf. This guy is an arcane? No wonder this name sounded familiar. Who was he? This name sounds familiar. Vander. Ah, that's right. People were justifying, or not, not justifying, speculating that Warwick was Vander, who died. Spoiler alert. Anyways. Firefan Warwick. Interesting. Yeah, it's a theory. It's a theory. Project Warwick, Winter Bless. That's actually kind of cool. Prestige Winter. Okay, hold on a minute. All right, don't let Twitter see this shit. You, 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 you alert the furries. Okay. Anyways, Warwick, pretty cool. I do like Saber Wolf. I think Saber Wolf is is kind of cool, and uh, this character would be kind of fun to have in Project L, especially as like a more like very fast rush down, kind of like Saber Wolf, right? So um, I give him a three out of five. Three out of five. Yeah, absolutely. Wukong. Wait, is this just Son Wukong? Oh my god, the monkey god is actually here. What the fuck? So, uh, Wukong is a Vastayan trickster who uses his strength, agility, and intelligence to confuse his opponents. It's basically just Son Wukong. Wow, does he and he has the staff too. Look at that. All right, this character would be awesome in Project L. Yeah, I would love this character in Project L. Look at that staff. Really cool. He could extendo Patronum, his staff, too, to be like, press a button. I'd be sweet, man. Lots of really cool costumes, I imagine. That one is badass. Jade Dragon. You got Radiant Wukong. You got Mr. Strummer, uh, I'm going Lancer. to speak, but can he beat Goku? <laughs> he is Goku. He can beat Goku because he is Goku. Technically speaking, he's already defeated. He's already defeated Goku, right? Because he is Goku. He's defeated himself. 
via a heart attack. Anyways, this character would be fucking sick in Project L. I would love to play Sun Wukong, especially if it's like way more agile. Lots of really cool flips and tricks and shit like that, right? I would love to see this character. Five out of five, I would 100% uh, play this character. Yeah, definitely. Xaya! What the hell? What is this? Uh-huh. Who is this motherfucker? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh! Wait. Is this Naruto's girlfriend? Sister? Cousin? Man, how could I be so ignorant? Dude, of course... I, I, I'm sorry. I'll stop calling her Naruto. It's just the tales confuse me. Naruto is Ari. Ari is Naruto. Sorry. That's really bad of me. She, uh, she has the nine tails. Ari is Naruto. So this is the girlfriend, apparently, as you guys were saying. Star Guardian. So they're 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 lovers. This is pretty cool though. That's a really cool costume. Oh, this one's better though. Oh, this one's way better. Arcana. This is a cute. It's like a cis puppet character. Yeah, kind of like a tag team type of thing. You know, they could probably incorporate some sort of a maid type of thing. I personally wouldn't recommend it. I'd probably just try to release them separately. Because the game's already a tag fighter. That would be kind of crazy. Already. With uh, other assists and shit. So, I don't know, man. Kind of weird. Unless you want to do something crazy. Like. Nah, never mind. I think the best way to go about it would be to either. Make them separate characters. That's it. Okay. Anyways. Or. You could do like a chic Zelda type of thing. Where. Where. You can switch from one to the other with like an install. And at the character select screen, you can hold down a button and you can just start off with the other character. It'd be kind of cool. Anyways, either way, uh, Zaya, I give her like a three out of five. Yeah. Like a three out of five. It'd be pretty cool. Zarath. What is that? I can't even tell what it is. Can you? Oh, I, I can kind of tell. There's the hands, face. Okay, I can kind of tell. Magus Descendant. Ascended Magus of Ancient Shurima. Oh, well, out of everybody, out of all the fire people, he's the one that looks more like Altskin 2 Cinder from Killer Instinct. Using all sorts of energy, plasma shit. Yeah, he could basically just be like another Cinder, but just like, instead of fire, just energy. I could see that. Look at that. I could definitely see that. I think that'd be really cool, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, no, give me a, a three out of five. I think that'd be really cool to have them have something like that. Mr. Bluetooth, is that what you call him? That's funny. All right, Jin Zhao. Xin Zhao, something like that. Okay, Ms. Xin Zhao is a resolute warrior loyal to the ruling Light Shield Dynasty. Once condemned by the fighting pits of Noxus, he survived countless gladiatorial bouts. Okay. Uh, kind of like Labu. You know, big old burly. He's got the hair. He's got the big old spear. Oh, yeah, definitely. Very Labu. Very fast. Very, And he looks... Oh, that looks cool, man. You know what? Hell yeah, dude. I'm, I fucks with this character. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely Labu. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Imperial, Vichero. That's the more gladiatorial. Winged Hussar. Warring Kingdoms. Yep, there we go. There's Labu right there. Secret Agent. Oh, I'm not going to lie. That looks really cool. It looks really cool. Can we get another... Um, what's it called? Reservoir Dogs. And add this character in. That'd be badass. Dragon Slayer. Cosmic Defenders. Look at that. Marauder. And Firecracker. Look at that. I think he looks... I think this character would be fucking sick, dude. Four out of five. Absolutely, man. Be like kind of like Van Vanguard in a way. You know, heavy hitting, but just 
it's still kind of agile and stuff. I love spear pole arm characters, and uh, one that kind of hits hits hard would be great, like Lubu. You know what I mean? Be sweet. Yasuo. Oh, kind of like another. Maybe like, uh, does he have two swords or one sword? I would love to see some sort of. A oh my god! That is a ginormous sword. Sheesh! All right, yeah. Naguriyuki ass. Hell yeah, bro. I'd be so down with this guy. Yeah, ba it'd basically be like um, Haomaru, but using like uh, the 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 the, uh, the style that Virgil has. What's his? What, what's that called again? Blood Moon, Nightbringer, Odyssey. Oh, this one looks sick. Uh, Iaido, thank you. Yes, Iaido. Oh man. Oh, this character is. Oh yeah. Absolutely, I'd play this character in a heartbeat. Oh yeah. Look at that shit. Oh my god, this would be my skin right here, Ink Shadow. And he's hot. Look at him. Irresistible. Absolutely, five out of five. I'd play him, dude. Freaking big ass sword, Iaido style, hot. Not no white hair though. It's unfortunate. Gotta differentiate yourself somehow. Um, new trailer for MK1. Okay, we're almost done here. After we're done here, we'll watch the MK1 trailer. Uh. Yasuo is the younger brother of Yon. I don't know who Yon is. Oh, oh, well, let's find out. The unforgotten Yon. Uh, he was Yon, half brother of Yasuo, and renowned student of Village Sword School. But upon his death, the hands of his brother found himself hunted by a malevolent entity of a spirit realm. It was forced to slay his his own will. Okay, so this is his brother. Whoa, he's got two swords. Oh, shit, he's got, like, a cursed sword and a legit sword. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, he's, like, Ghost Blade, but way cooler. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, dude, fuck Yasuo. Give me Yon. Oh, hell yeah, dude. No, fuck Yasuo. Give me him, dude. Five out of five, dude. Yasuo moves down to four. No, I'm just kidding. I still want Yasuo uh, in, in Project L. But Yon for sure, too. Like, five out of five. Both of the, the brothers. Give me the brothers. Give me both of them. Give me both of them, man. Hell yeah, dude. I would love dual katanas. Kind of like Murasame. Oh, and, and it has a stand. Love that. Yasuo is a guarantee. Yon's a solid maybe. He's a guarantee, huh? That's sick. I'd be down. I'm down to see his trailer. With how pretty the game is, I'm down. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Shepherd of Sorrels. Yorick. The last survivor of the long-forgotten religious order. Yorick is both pleased and cursed with power over the dead. Oh, he's like Charon. So maybe kind of like Charon? Leads people to the underworld? Like, oh, oh. Kind of like Charon. Last Rites. Got a couple of different things. Yeah, I got a big old... Is that a scythe or is that like a bludgeoning hammer thing? Huh. Summon, it's like a necromancer kind of summoning some spirits. Imprisoning type of thing. It's a shovel? Oh, that's kind of sick. Damn. Undertaker. Pentakill. Of course, Pentakill. Wait, is that Yorick over there? You know what Yorick reminds me of? Grundy. Kind of reminds me of Grundy. Look at that. Yeah, he looks sick. Look at that. Absolutely. Wow. So, but it's more of a summoner more than anything else. He's like the collector from MK11. That's a good way to put it. The collector. That's a good one. But more burly. So if they fuse the Collector with Solomon Grundy, I think that would be a really cool character. Yeah, Yorick would be really cool. Three out of five. You got Yumi. That, that's that's 
That's that's a cat. That's that's a cat. Oh, a cat. I'm sorry, a cat with a book. A cat with a book. Oh shit. The cat looks adorable, too. Oh, my God. Open the book. Just crazy projectiles firing your way. Oh, that's that's just cute. Can I say something without you guys getting mad? I kind of want her in Project L. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Timo is hated for what he does to you. Yui Yu is hated for what she does to her allies. I kind of think it would be adorable to have this character in there. You know what I mean? I think she'd be mad cute. She's just a little, just a little cat on a book floating around and shit. I, I find it uh, as adorable as Amaterasu changing forms in Marvel 3. You know what I mean? She's a cute cat. That's it. But more than likely, she's not making it in. She's probably going to be like a main menu thing like Timo, right? I'm not gonna lie. I uh, three out of five. Three, three, three out of five. I, I, I. Yeah. Zach. The secret weapon. This looks like a goat, like a ghost. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Antagonist. Be a good one. No, no, no bait. No, uh, real talk. No, I'm, I'm dead ass. No bait. No nothing. But anyways. Zack. Zack is the product of toxic spell that ran through a chemitech seam pooled in the isolated cavern deep in Zon's sump. So he's just a goo man? And can separate. He's elastic -y and can attach and be sticky and elastic -y and. He's basically Dalsim, but way more pliable. He's like, he's like Zero from Third Strike and Dalsim put together. Hmm. One out of five. I don't want him. Zed. What is Zed? That is how Canadians say the letter Z. The master of shadows. Utterly ruthless without mercy, Zed is the leader of Order of Shadow, an organization he created with the intent of militarizing Ionia's magical and, and martial traditions to drive out Noxian and invaders. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. He's like a ninja. Oh, he's the Shredder? Oh! I thought he looked familiar. I was going to say he looked like Ninja Gaiden, but dude, Shredder's like the perfect thing. Yeah, he is like the Shredder. Yeah, shurikens and shit. That'd be fucking sick, actually. Yeah, this character's awesome. Yeah! The Shredder! Look, oh, that skin looks awesome. PSYOPs, Prestige Project, it's like Soldier 76, Dr uh, Debonair, and Pyrian. Oh, that looks awesome, too. Yeah, I actually really like that. Dude, I, I kind of fucks with Zed. He's like Shredder. He's a ninja. He's got pointy things coming out of his arms. He's badass. 
He's Canadian? Shit, dude. That's freaking sick. I uh, four out of five. That's awesome. Yeah, man. A uh, four out of five. Who's next? Zeri? Spark of Zon. Oh, she's electrifying. Okay, cool. Headstrong spirited young woman of Zon from Zon's working class. Zen channels her electric magic to charge herself in her custom crafted gun. Okay, how big is Oh, there's the gun. She's got electric powers and channels them into her gun. Maybe zip zappity as well. So projectile base, kind of zoner-esque. Yep, marksman. With a rose ocean song. Okay, I mean, I like... Dude, I love electric powers. I love the zippity zappity shit, you know? Um, unless it's Blanca. Fuck that character. I do, however, like gun-type characters, but I feel like this one feels a little bit lackluster for Project L. Unless they make her look absolutely badass. So the potential for her is, is high, but I'm my hopes are not. So I will go ahead and say two out of five. It's she's fine, you know. It's fine, but she could if if they make her look really cool. Like I said, the potential is really high. Four out of five for sure. Absolutely, super sick. Um, but yeah, that's for now. It's it's just the two. Ziggs. I don't like that smile on his face. All these fucking girls always have smiles and shit. What are they so happy about? With a love of big bombs and short fuses, the Yordle Ziggs is an explosive force of nature. It's like Klee. But way... Way scarier. Well, actually, I don't know. Klee's pretty scary in her own right. Either way, okay, just straight up throwing bombs, blowing shit up, being small and a little shithead. Oh my god, set play. I can see set play. I can see set play. I can see zoning. I can see bullshittery. Major Ziggs. I'm not gonna lie, him smiling and shit and just standing there menacingly is kind of adorable. Snow Day Ziggs, Master Arcanist. Look at that. Battle Boss. Sugar Rush. Hextech. And Bzigs. <laughs> okay, okay. He's got good dentist, good dental. This guy has his own spin-off game. He does. When, like, like, <clears throat> like Daxter? Is this it? Oh, oh God! Here we go. Fuse is burning, fuse is burning. Take cover! Take cover! Fuse is burning, fuse is burning. I'm gonna bomb the shit out of you! <laughs> shit like that. It's a rhythm game? What the f- what? <laughs> a League of Legends rhythm game? <laughs> it is a League of Legends rhythm game? Since when? All right, that's not what I was expecting when I heard Ziggs has his own spinoff game, but sure, why not? Um, is this it? I dig it. Okay, I get it. I get it. I dig it. That, that was that was kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of cool. Alright, uh, Ziggs. Two out of five. You know, it's whatever. You are yeah. Twitch Prime. Uh, 19 inches from Silver Guy. Thanks so much for the Prime. Much love. And if anybody else would like to use their Prime on this channel, I would heavily appreciate it. Much love to everybody that's watching. And of course, give me your Prime. Thanks. 
Next. The Chrono Keeper, Zelay. This guy could be an easy five out of five. I need to see what he does, though. Once a powerful uh, Ikethian, Ikethian mage, Zillion became obsessed with the passage of time after witnessing his homeland's destruction by the void. Unable to spare even a minute Twitch to Prime. grieve his catas catastrophic people. loss, he called upon the ancient temporal magic to divine whatever else. Uh, but I, whatever else is Klaus alive coming in with the Prime. Thank you so much, Klaus. I appreciate it. Enjoy the emotes. You, you can spend as many emotes as you as you want, dude. You can do that here. You can do that anywhere if you want to. Much love. I don't know what aura. What are you talking about? Don't know what. Is aura here? I don't see her here. I don't see her. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. So who did you like, Batman? Because that's what Zillion would be, but worse. What? No shot, dude. Aura was here? Oh, did I actually don't know what? <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on, let me go up. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, she's a pink name now. That's right. She's a pink name now. Oh, there she is. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Aura. Fun fact. Old men and walking bear are arch enemies. Old man or walking bear? Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, anyways, what is, what is Bedman? You gotta be kidding me. What are you what are you talking about, dude? What is this? Oh, come on. Oh man. Oh, that's lame. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. This guy could have been an easy five out of five. He's a one now. I don't give a rat's ass about him. I was thinking some cool ass shit, like, you know, some brawler shit and incorporating some time things into it because he looks so cool from the original portrait, but yeah. It looks fucking whack. One out of five. Man, that was, that's probably the biggest disappointment in this whole roster, to be honest with you. Yeah, Echo is now... Yeah, basically, Echo is filling in that, like, time shit. You know what I mean? Kind of rewinding time and kind of going back to where he was with his clone and shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways. Aspect of Twilight Zoe. Is that another child? Embodiment of imagination to change uh, Zoe's cosmic messenger of Targun. Uh, heralding major events and reshape worlds. Her, her presence warps the arcane mathematics governing realities. That is another child. That is that is a child. And she's jump roping. And she's skipping. Yep, that is a child. Okay. That is kind of a cool child. I won't lie. If that was my child... Oh, she teleports and shit. Oh, yes. If that was my child, I'd be like, yes, that is a cool child. I have created a very cool child. But it is still a child nonetheless, even though it is a cool child. And kind of adorable. Arcanist, Prestige, EDG, Winter Blessed. She definitely has very uh, brat energy coming out for sure. Like, look at her, like, skip, skipping. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Imagine Tokaka's personality with Happy Chaos's powers. <laughs> wow. That'd be annoying. <laughs> That'd be annoying. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know, man. I kind of would like to see her in the game. I would not play her, though. Maybe a two or three. Like a maybe maybe a two out of five. Two out of five. It's still a child. Probably the coolest child out of all of them, though. And last but not least, we're back to the last character, chat. We did it. Zyra. Oh? Born in the ancient sorceress catastrophe, Zyra is the wrath of nature given form. Poison Ivy, pretty much? 
This shit's just poison ivy. Holy shit. Setting up traps. Vines. Setting up different minions to be able to attack for you. Oh my god. They could do so much cool shit with her. I kind of fucking love her. Dude, I want... Poison Ivy and Project L would be badass, to be honest with you. Dude, five out of five. I made up my mind. No, as soon as I saw her, I'm like, is she like Poison Ivy? And then I saw some stuff, and I'm like, yep, she's just like Poison Ivy. I want her. I love Poison Ivy, and I love that gameplay. So you could do, like, Vine type of shit, you know? Kind of like, um... Poison Ivy and Injustice 2. <laughs> You know what I mean? She could be like Jacko with her saplings. No. I think she could just do some cool ass vine shit. It's a really sick design. She looks pretty. I love her in Project L. Bring her in Project L. Hell yeah, dude. She's really slow. I do see kind of like a setup type of zoning playstyle. And if that's the case, I might not really like her that much. But if they, I don't know if they, eh, they might incorporate a lot of their League of Legends counterparts into the fighting games. But I don't know how, depend, because anyone even knows if they're even making it in. But there's some characters that are probably shoe in a shoe in for Project L and some that aren't. And those are the ones that are going to be biggest challenge. So I don't know. But either way, I think she's cool. I would like her in to see how they would uh, adapt her. And I will give her five out of five. Maybe a four out of five, because now that you mentioned the slow play style, maybe four out of five. Okay, so we've done it. We went through every single project. Oh, I'm sorry, League of Legends character in the roster currently as of this recording, this stream. And it's 166 characters. It took two days to be able to finish this shit. It took a while. What are the five characters that I really like and can stick out of my mind? Katarina, Misfortune, uh, Akila. I think that's her name, right? Akila? Or Akali, my God, Jesus Christ. Uh, Akali, uh, the dragon waifu. And I cannot remember her name yet. Shivana, that's her. Uh, Shivana. And hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Who was it again? It wasn't Samira. Who was it? It was somebody else. There was another gal that I saw here. N ah, Nidalee. Yes. Nidalee. This was my favorite one. I want an Amazonian goddess. Spear gameplay, fast, rush down, mid-range, poking with, with shit, chucking spears and shit, stuff like that. Love that. Now, if you want more male counterparts, I do would I would really like like Olaf. Olaf is really cool. Uh, I do remember him. Um, who was the other guy that I really liked? Ah, Graves. There he is. Graves would be pretty badass. Can't remember anybody else besides them, to be honest with you. Oh, um, what's their name down here? Yeah, Joan and. Uh, uh, Yon and Yasuo, those characters would be so sick. Oh, yes. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. I'll tell the pineapple shining through in your character choices. I know, right? Yasuo? God damn, dude. Very horny on main, I am. Very horny. Also, Song Wukong Strummer, is really I'm going cool, to too. Speak. There are apparently 14 character slots. Six already confirmed. Echo Darius. Ari. Katarina, Jinx, and Alayoi. That leaves eight slots. What are your choices? What are my choices? Uh, okay. Misfortune, Katarina. Oh, wait, no, Katarina's already in. Uh, Misfortune. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll say Yasuo, because apparently Yasuo is more of a... more likely to be in, so Yasuo. Italy or what, what's her name again? Oh God, these names. I don't play the game, so it's going to be hard for me. Nidalee. 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 Who else is there? So what do you got? Echo, Darius, Ari, Katarina, Jinx, Ilaoi. Oh yeah, Vi is making it in. Absolutely. So there's three. You got Vi, 
Yasuo, Misfortune. I feel like Jace might make it in too. Well, we already have Darius, and Darius just kind of fills in that role as like big guy, right? Um, a Yordle has to make it in. A Yordle that's not named. <laughs> a Yordle that's not named Timo. Um, so Ziggs. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> anyways, let's see here. Uh, I would love Dragon Waifu. What's her face? God dang, there's so many characters I don't. Sh Shivana. Shivana would be badass as hell. Uh, Ak Akali would be awesome. Uh, Ash would be incredible. And I'd probably do. Me personally, probably like Olaf. No, you know what? Actually, scratch that. What's his name? Where's he at? Scratch that. Where's the ninja guy? Talon. No, this is the assassin guy. No, 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 no. The other guy. Where is he? This Zed. There he is. Yes. Zed. Yes. Zed. Th those are my picks. I'd probably incorporate uh, Set. And also, uh, what's his face over here? Fucking uh, Strider, Strider boy. What's his face? God, what's it? I just barely call oh, Talon. But I think for sure those characters would be good. Okay, so we got, so Vice making it in. I would love it for, well, anyways. That's <laughs> I can't name off the characters off the top of my head. Just run back the tape and you guys will know. Those are my characters. Those are the characters that I would want them to be in. Yeah, Talon is the, yeah, yeah. He's the Assassin's Creed guy. Strider, hear you boy. Yep, 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 yep. And then Zed is the ninja boy. Then you got Ziggs. Well, you got, I, I named off a whole shit ton of characters that are probably way over what our, the original question <laughs> was asking for. So, um... Anyways, lots of great characters, lots of really cool ones, lots of, lots and lots, lots of potential for them to be in the game. And I can't wait for more characters to be revealed because the game is not only really, looks like really fun, but it just looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous beyond belief, man. The graphics, they've really outdone themselves and I'm excited to see some more gameplay and see how the game kind of progresses from here on out. So, anyways, guys, we did it. We raided all the League of Legends characters. Oh, man. Well, that was something else, huh? <laughs> what if they they blindside us with a 24-size roster at release? I don't know. That would be interesting. I mean, it'd be really cool. I mean, the more characters, the merrier, obviously. But I feel like this game is going to be supported for a very long time. And I don't know how they're going to be doing the models or like the, what the monetary model is for Project L when more characters come out. Because apparently, because Project L is free to play. So I don't know if they're going to be adding them and that's it. Or if you have to be like, like League of Legends where you have to buy the character, but you can use it, use them in like training mode, similarly to like multiverses. But if you want to go online and play ranked and play things like that, and sure but i imagine for tournaments and shit like that they're gonna have to figure out some sort of a package for all characters to be unlocked for versus mode unless they provide that already for offline players but online and ranked and shit like that you have to buy them i don't know i don't know how that works and the fighting game is different from a moba because i know in a moba is mostly just you know you go online and you match up online but in a fighting game there's offline versus and uh, seeing how they how they do it, you know what I mean?